Prabhu, you're muted. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Dhanavad Pranam. Jai Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Extremely. Extremely sorry huh, for too much delay. No problem, Prabhu. Some important, some emergency call. You know. Uh, something urgent to be uh, urgent requires an urgent focus. So happy to see all of you after uh, one week. Jai Prabhupada, Dhanavad Pranam, all glories to all of you. Ribol. So we have uh, uh, Brahmachari here. I saw. Is it Prahlad Chandra Prabhu? Is it Brahmachari? I saw a video. Is it him or somebody else? Yes, Prabhu. I think he's him. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Dhanavat Pranam. Jai Prabhupada. Dhanavat Pranam. Jai Prabhupada Prabhuji. Yes Prabhuji, can you kindly introduce yourself? No. Once is breaking Prabhu? Yes, his connection is a little bit. Here, let me... Let me get... you. Yes, Prabhu. Should I... Oh, you want to type? Okay. You cannot hear properly. Uh, where is Prabhu from? Any idea? This myself. Prabhu? Ah, sorry. Can you hear, um, can you hear me? Yes, Prabhu. Oh, yeah, no, I, I... I, think, I think better. Yes, Prabhu. Better now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you from, Prabhu? Still, okay, no, good. Still not good. <laughs> They're not able to hear you. Maybe you need to off the video. If the network is not good, then we can hear you properly. No, Prabhu, we cannot hear you. Or oh, you have typed something? Bad sound quality right now. Or you can type or you can try to off the video and try to speak. We can see the quality. Okay. Is this is this better? Yeah, yes, better now. Better now, Prabhu. Okay. Yes. I'm just a nobody, Prabhu. I'm not. I'm very... very You know, whatever is about me is no no big deal. So, I'm just very fortunate to be around. So that is my great fortune. Follow Srila Prabhupada through his Vani, ultimately, and to try to distribute his original books, which I've done for the past five years. And now I'm in the land of Barta, which I never thought I would ever be here. Well. Oh. Where are I, you, bro? Uh, I'm trying to leave it all up to the Lord. Okay, he, right he, now, I'm in Chittagar. Chittagar, Rajasthan. Oh, Rajasthan? Okay. Yes, Chittagar. Oh, oh, Chittagar. Okay. Okay. So you are, uh, 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 I mean, I'm uh, working, serving some I'm temple or? Next to a four. Right now, <clears throat> I'm with uh, my friend, Balaram Prabhu, and um, I'm adjusting to the culture and learning so much. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, Prabhu. Good. Uh, okay, somewhat we can hear you. <laughs> no, not, not exactly, I would say. But I, I can understand that you are with your devotee, uh, you know, called Balaram Prabhu. He's with you. You are from Chattika, Rajasthan. Yeah, yes. we, we are able to get that. Yes. Maybe what you can do, Prabhu, maybe you can drop me your number. After the Ishtagoshti, I can, we can uh, get to know each other better. So that uh, it will be, you know, good to associate. You have Indian number? Right now, I have. No, we don't hear you at all. We don't hear you at all. Anyway, this is number. my number. So, I always like Telegram, WhatsApp. This is my okay. number, Prabhu. Maybe you can message okay. me. Oh, this is... 
Uh, this is his number. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Easy. Okay. So your WhatsApp. Yeah. Telegram. Telegram. Nice. Okay. Telegram or WhatsApp? Are you... Where? Uh, Telegram is best. I like Telegram. Okay. WhatsApp is okay. the American. Okay, I will call you uh, by Telegram. Maybe we can get to know each other better. Okay. Good, bro. Uh, happy. happy to know you, you know. Um, uh, thanks for joining us also. You can... So we have other devotees also here. So Sujay Prabhu, Aditya Prabhu, Sujit Prabhu, Vishnu Prabhu. Uh, we, we don't hear you, Prabhu. Maybe you can type, it will be easier. Cherry, where, where? Uh, I guess you asked me. I'm in Pondicherry. I think so. If, we, if that is a question, yes, I'm in Pondicherry. Yeah, yeah, it's a very bad connection there. We don't uh, hear you. Maybe you can type. Well, we can. It'll be easier to. Okay. By the way, could I visit yeah. you one day? I would like to see the devotees in in the yes, cows. Please. Yes, please. yes, please, please. <laughs> no. You please come. <laughs> You please come. You just uh, um, tell me the dates and come because I have a plan to go to uh, Vrindavan by next month end. So Vrindavan. just confirm the dates before you start. Okay, so I'm also be available. Going. Yeah. Prabhu is also going in Kartik. He's going to Vrindavan. I'm going after Kartik because Kartik is very uh, Vrindavan is so busy. So I'm going at the end of Kartik. I'm going to Vrindavan. Hmm. So, I hear so many oh. things. I can't wait to to uh, see all the flowers and the grass and the and the forest and the trees. <laughs> it's not not much flowers, but of course, grass is there and Gomata's cows are there. It's all then, in, no. the, in the in uh, the <laughs> lot of snakes also there. <laughs> it's all in the heart. Vrindavan is in the heart, Prabhu. Yes, yes. So you oh, know, no, no. Nama. Yeah, you know, Hare, Hare Krishna, purify the heart, and we get there slowly, slowly. Eventually, one day, we get to the Vrindavan within the heart. That's the most important thing. Oh, yes. You yes. Yes, yes, so, exactly. Sorry, sorry. 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 Yeah. Yes, I I plan to go to Mayapur after, so Good. I honestly so, have no plans, honestly. I don't know. I'm just well, seeing what happens. Okay. <laughs> you are visiting visiting here? You are visiting India or you are uh, staying here? I think. Oh, oh this is. Yeah. Who is speaking? I'm going to apply for a five year visa. Okay. And I'm going to just really go all in for just chanting and sadhana and everything, whatever I can. I'm just going to do it. Okay, now. Good. That's the goal. Yeah, it's good. Please do mm. a Prabhupada and the devotees. Yep. Jai Prabhupada. Jai. Yes, Let's Prabhupada. distribute some books together. Boom, 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 boom. Talk to the people. Yes. <laughs> you. Let's let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, my yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, okay. Thank you. By the thank way, thank you, Prabhu. Thanks. Thanks for, thank for you so me. much. Thank you so much. Thank Prabhu. you. Thank you. Thank thank so we have one new devotee this week. Yagya Reti. I think your first time you're coming, bro. Yagya Reti Akula, or you have come before? Uh, it's first time. This is the first time. Uh, probably. Yeah. It's first time, Prabhu. Uh, first time, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so I, Karti, Karti Prabhu told me. Karti Prabhu told me that uh, you're coming for the morning Japa session. Yes, Prabhu. He told me. No. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me. Huh? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, good. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Hyderabad, Prabhu. Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay. Hyderabad. Mm, okay. What are you doing? I'm doing BSc MLT, Prabhu. BSc? MLT, Medical Lab Technology. 
it's a okay. medical course hmm okay okay good how many rounds you are chanting now prab ah uh, 16 rounds prabhu ji so how long ah uh, it's been a year oh it's been a year so recently yes. you came, know about isk prabhu ji uh, recently you uh, uh, knew about isk yeah yes prabhu ji oh yes how do you know our, our lectures is it ah uh, ha huh, prabhu ji uh, i know one prabhu uh, his name is i think uh, gaurnita i prabhu gaurnita yeah, i don't uh, remember his name particularly nita i das or some yes prabhu yes, yes. <laughs> okay yes nita i nita uh, yeah he sent me the link yeah. to join prabhu okay good yeah. you also you are chanting for one year 16 rounds yes prabhu yes prabhu you are reading proper books also yes prabhu mm-hmm. online only only on avedabase.com what about uh, uh, what about the uh, four principles you are following principles are you prabhu following four principles no prabhu i am meeting me i am me i am meet it i am meeting me oh one year you are chanting you still eating with how <laughs> uh, no prabhu my family members forcing me to eat because i am very skinny so i have to eat so they for they forcing me to eat so it's all it's all how fat i am i am vegetarian prabhu <laughs> you saw how fat i am i am vegetarian you don't yes, need to prabhu. be a meat eater to become fat but they don't uh, listen to me prabhu uh, they force me to eat okay anyway now only you come to our association na Mm, yes prabhu slowly 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 you know we will teach you one by one yes. mm, by with the, the that is devotee association you know with devotee association you know we have to become more stronger yes prabhu you desire Actually, strongly I... you desire strongly Pr- prabhu you desire strongly then krishna will make arrangements okay okay prabhu Actually, I don't. I don't even have the physical uh, association. Fortunately, I've got this group. This is better, you know. It is better than physical association. Yes, Prabhu. In, in this association, we don't uh, do much fault finding. Physical yes, association, Prabhu. we always find fault. <laughs> yes, okay. Prabhu. So, Vani, Vani is always better. <laughs> yeah, it yes, is actually Prabhu. better, you know. We have a japa sessions in the morning. We yes, have jappa yes, sessions sir. in the morning, and then you can come and join us. We have reading session in the evening. You can yes, join Prabhu. us. Hmm? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. And sorry, uh, sorry, Prabhu. Uh, last time I could not able to talk to you. Ah. Huh. Yes, Prabhu. That's why I felt so bad uh, for the whole day. That why I could not able to talk to you. The, this was running uh, in my mind for the long time. when you are trying to talk to me prabhu N- uh, nothing prabhu just i want to in- introduce no, myself to you last last time last time last time last sunday prabhu oh last sunday you came ha huh? oh ah yes prabhu yes okay okay good you make it uh, uh, you make krishna consciousness uh, as a main principle of life understand people will yes. tell you one thing and you know other thing and so many things are huh? but you have to be very much careful about uh, your krishna conscious duties you know yes prabhu yes prabhu you see you can uh, sami prabhu you can show the verse shrimad bhagavatam 10th canto first chapter fourth verse you can uh, 10 1 4 Shrimad Bhagavatam. You can read this. Uh, uh, Yajna Prabhu. Translation. Yes, Prabhu. Glorification of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is performed in the Parampara system. That is, it is conveyed from the spiritual master to disciple. Such a glorification is released by those no longer interested in the false temporary glorification of this cosmic man- manifestation. descriptions of the lord are the right med- 
మెడిసిన్ ఫర్ ద కండిషన్ సోల్ అండర్ గోయింగ్ రిపీటెడ్ బర్త్ అండ్ డెత్ దేర్ ఫోర్ హూ విల్ సీజ్ హియరింగ్ సచ్ గ్లోరిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఎ బర్చర్ ఆర్ వన్ హూ ఈస్ కిల్లింగ్ హిస్ ఓన్ సెల్ఫ్ బుచ్చర్ బుచ్చర్ మీన్స్ యు నో ద వన్ హూ వాస్ కిల్లింగ్ ఎనిమల్స్ ఆర్ ఈటింగ్ ఎనిమల్స్ ఇఫ్ యు ఈట్ ఎనిమల్ దెన్ యు విల్ నాట్ హావ్ ఎనీ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఇన్ చాంటింగ్ అండ్ హియరింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ క్లియర్ yes prabhu you understand this so if you are eating meat uh, then you cannot make spiritual processes at all uh, except except you know if you are eating meat it is not it is not possible mm i understand prabhu okay then you can go down in the purport uh, go to the purport in the purport there is a uh, you can see that nindasi yagya vidher go up yeah you can yeah you can read that read below okay even though animal sacrifices yes prabhu even though animal sacrifices are sanctioned in vedic ceremonies men who will who kill animals for such ceremonies are considered butchers butchers cannot be interested in krishna conscious but they are butcher. already materially mm. for they are already materially allured their only interest lies in developing comforts for the temporary body so if you eat meat then you cannot become krishna conscious yes prabhu see the words this is actually if you eat meat ah uh, this is not the translation sami prabhu this is not the translation hmm so translation is it did i find the translation no this is actually this is this is actually from uh, dashavadara stotra and the prabhupad is giving his explanation at the bottom so it is not translation so this is the even though animal sacrifices this is actually prabhupad's explanation uh, so this is not translation so this prabhupad prabhupad one yeah so uh, so if you eating meat then then you cannot you cannot go back to god at for sure and also you can go to shrimad bhagavatam fourth canto um fourth canto you can go to that uh, chapter number uh, 25 verse number 8 425 8 you can open read the translation yes prabhu yes prabhu all these animals are awaiting your death so that they can av- avenge the injuries you have inflicted upon them after you die they will angrily pierce your body with iron horns clear yes prabhu if you are actually eating meat then yes, all sir. the animals are waiting yes read the purport read the purport read the purport narada narada muni wanted to draw king prachi prachindra barsat attention to the excess of killing animals in sacrifices uh, it said in in the shastra that by killing animals in a sacrifice one immediately promotes them to human birth similarly by killing their enemies on a battlefield the kshatriyas who fight for a right cause or elevated Uh, to the heavenly planets of the death their enemy uh, in manush samhita it is stated that it is necessary for a king to execute murder so that murderer will not suffer his crimin- uh, criminal actions in his next life on the basis of such understanding narada muni wants the king uh, that the animals killed in sacrifices by the king await him at his death in order to avenge themselves narada muni 
is not uh, contracting himself narada muni wanted to convince the king that over indulging in animal sacrifice is risky because as soon as there is a small uh, discrepancy uh, discrepancy in the execution of such sacrifice the slaughtered animal may not be promoted to a human form of life consequently uh, the person performing sacrifice will be responsible for the death of the animal just as much as murderer is responsible for killing another man and when uh, animals are killed in a slaughterhouse six people connected with a killing are responsible for the murder the person who gives permission for the killing the person who kills the person who helps the person who purchases the meat the person who cooks the flesh and the person who eats it all become entangled in killing narada muni wanted to draw the king attention to his fact thus animal killing is not encouraged even in a sacrifice see ya we go to shrimad yes. bhagavatam 5 6 11 26 sorry 5 26 11 5 26 11 retranslation in in this life an envious person commits violent acts against many living entities therefore after his death when he is taken to hell by amaraja those living entities who were hurt by them hurt by him appear as animals called rurus to inflict very severe pain upon him learned scholars call this hell raura not generally seen in this world uh, the ruru is more envious than a snake purport read the purport according according to sridhar swami the ruru is also known as the bharashranga atikshatriya bharashranga satvasya apadesh samjna srila jeeva goswami confirms that this is this sandarbha ruru sandibhi sadabhya swayam muninaiva sorry prabhu i am not good in this language no, no, just go to english that's good english it's okay just read the english yeah Uh, thus all the rurus are not seen in this world their ex- their existence is confirmed in the shastras so there is a kind of uh, creature called rurus and yes, uh, they are more uh, more uh, poisonous and more envious than snakes you know if you are eating animals and you will yes, be put sir. in a hell call raurava and then there you will be bitten by that particular creature and then you will suffer then go to 17 towards of the same chapter 52617 read the translation by the arrangement of the supreme lord law grade living beings like bats and mosquitoes suck the blood of human being and other animals such insignificant creatures are unaware that they are bites or painful to the human being however first class human beings brahmanas kshatriyas and vaishyas are developed in consciousness and therefore they know how painful it is to be killed a human being endowed with knowledge certainly commits in commits sin if he kills or uh, torments insignificant uh, creatures who have no discrimination the supreme lord punishes such a man by putting him into the hell known as andakupa where he is attacked by all the birds and beasts Uh, reptiles mosquitoes live swarms field flies and any other creatures he tormented during his life they attack him from all sides robbing him of all the pleasure of sleep unable to rest he constantly wanders about in the darkness thus in the andakupa his suffering is just like that of a creature in the lower species so you have two choice now raurava andakupa where you want to go I don't want to go any go anywhere, Prabhu. I I just go Bola Printa one. <laughs> Then you cannot eat meat. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See how much our Shastra is condemning eating meat. Even if someone forces you, you should not do this, na? No? If someone forces to drink poison, do you drink? No, Prabhu. 
there. Why you why you eat meat if someone force you? Nobody can force you except you want to eat. Clear? Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. like you know, sometimes my daughter says that you know she don't like to eat some vegetables. I will force her. No, no, you must eat vegetables. No, no, no. I don't like. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. She'll be adamant. As she don't want to eat the tomatoes. I am forcing her to eat the tomato, but she don't want to eat. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes, brother. If you are, if you are determined that you don't want to go to this place, see this verse. This is, uh, this Antakupa is more, more. You know, even for killing mosquito, you have to go to hell. You know. Not only what people think, mosquito only. You no, know, mosquito is biting me. I am killing it. No, mosquito. It is. It is not biting you out of envy or anger. It is genuinely coming to drink its own food. Yes, Prabhu. So there is nothing wrong in mosquito biting you. You know, but yes, why Prabhu. you have to beat the mosquito? I mean, I I stopped I stopped killing mosquitoes for the past ten years. Ever since I read the verse, I I stopped killing mosquitoes. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Bowl. Okay. <laughs> I think for the past ten years, I don't kill any uh, mosquitoes. Of course, sometimes I kill some uh, poisonous things like uh, like a snake and scorpions and all those things I've killed in the temple to to, to protect yeah. the devotees. Uh, that I have yeah. done, but uh, that is to protect the devotees. But by mosquito bite, uh, nobody die, huh? except we get some dengue fever or something. Except yeah, that yeah. mostly we don't die. We have to keep the place clean so that mosquitoes do not come. So you cannot kill a mosquito. If a, even for killing mosquitoes, bugs, bed bugs, and for that you need to go to hell called hell called Andakupa. What about killing goats? What about killing fish? What about killing you know like uh, you know like um, hens? And what yes. about those things? You know yes, how you can uh, how you can do the violence against the living entities? See how many verses you saw now? Yes, oh, there are so many verses other than this. So whatever I remember, I just I showed you a few verses. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, So Prabhu. you should uh, first of all, you should become sinless. Prabhu. Go to Shrimad Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita, chapter seven, verse number twenty-eight. Yeah. Persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life, and whose sinful actions are completely erad eradicated, are freed from the dualities of delusion, and they engage themselves in my service with determination. So, if you have sin, you yes, cannot, Prabhu. you cannot go back to God. It you cannot, you cannot engage determination. So, sometimes you will chant, sometimes you don't chant. See. Sometimes we yes. do this. Sometimes we don't do this. This will happen. That's why he is yes. saying that uh, persons who have acted piously in previous life in this life, whose sinful reactions are completely eradicated. Eradicated. You know, only they can be determined. Dhadavrata. The word Dhadavrata is very important because in Krishna consciousness, uh, you cannot do based on emotion. So one day I wake up, one day I sleep, one day I chant, one day I don't chant, one day you know I follow principles, another day I don't follow principles. One day I eat meat, another day I eat prasadam. No, you cannot do this. This determination must yes. be there. Dhiravrata, dhira, yes. dhiravrata. So this is actually determination is very very important uh, uh, to execute uh, uh, devotional service. You know, the Lord is called as a papa vidhim. A papa vidhim means you know, you know, he has uh, no sins. You know, sins cannot touch him. That's why he's called as a papa vidhim. So if you if you want to um, um, go back to God, hmm, yes, then Prabhupada. you know you have to become sinful, sinless first. That is why yes. Prabhupada is saying you chant Hare Krishna, right? After you yes, chant Hare Krishna, what Prabhupada is saying? Follow four, four uh, principles. principles. Yes. Why yes, you Prabhupada. should follow four principles? Hare Krishna is not sufficient. No, Prabhu. We what have to follow think? four principles. Four principles what? must be. Hare Krishna mantra is independent, right? Yes, Prabhu. Krishna is independent or dependent? Krishna is uh, independent, Prabhu. What about Krishna's name? 
Krishna's His name, name is, is a... independent. Independent, huh? Prabhu. Independent. Then why you? Then why you want four principles? Why don't you just chant Hare Krishna and go back to Godhead? Because we should not commit any mistake, any sinful activities. If we follow the four principles, then we may, then we will not commit any mistakes in life. Any sinful. But even activities. if you even if you commit sinful activities, chanting yes, Hare Krishna Prabhu. mantra can deliver you from that, na? No, Prabhu. If we are chanting and uh, that uh, and doing the this sinful activities, that will not uh, take you back to the Godhead, right? You are doing both. So, no, how, but when you chant Hare Krishna mantra. It can yes. it can deliver all the sinful reactions you commit now. Hare Krishna mantra is powerful that it can approve all the you know the verses yes. there. Our prarabdha phalam paapam kutam bijam followed mukam kramena eva praliya dev ishtu bhakti ratatmana. It means uh, when you chant Hare Krishna mantra, you know like see you can see that verse also no problem. Our prarabdha phalam paapam. You can see Hare Krishna mantra if you chant. Okay, I will yes, show you the verse. You go to Bhagavad Gita chapter nine verse two. Go to Parpat. No better go to Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Uh, Madhuri Lila fifteen one six nine. Fifteen one six nine, the purport end. Go to the end of the purport. So meanwhile, if anybody have any question, you can type here. So after that, I can answer you. Yes. There are different stages Please. of dormant rea- dormant reactions to sinful activities to be observed in a sinful life. Sinful reactions may be just uh, waiting to take effect. Reactions may be. Still further dormant, or the reactions may be in a seed seed like state. In a in any case, all types of sinful reactions are vanished one after another. If a person engages in the devotional service of Lord Vishnu, then what is the problem? You can chant Hare Krishna and eat meat. But have Prabhu, you said uh, do gambling? But Prabhupada has said that uh, we have to follow the four principles, right? That's what I'm saying. Why? Why uh, these four principles required? First of all, when the chanting is independent, why you should do the four principles? Prabhu, what I know that if we if we do not follow those four principles, and if we commit, if we commit, if we go on committing that those activities, then we are no more able to chant this uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. If we have to chant this yeah. mantra, then we have to stop those, uh, stop doing those things. Go to nectar of devotion chapter. Go to nectar of devotion chapter eight. At the end, there is uh, something called uh, offenses against the chanting the holy name of the Lord. Even though the yes. chanting is uh, at the end, uh, go to the end and go to the seventh offense, last, 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 uh, seven. Read that number seven. Yes, to commit sinful activities on the strength of the holy name of the Lord, it should not be taken. Uh, that because by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one can be freed from all kind of sinful reaction. One may continue to act sinful, and after that, chant Hare Krishna to neutralize it. Is sins such a dangerous mentality is offensive, should be avoided. Yes, Prabhu. So this offense to think like otherwise it is independent. Of course, you know, eat meat also. Hare Krishna mantra can uh, neutralize it. No doubt about that. But purposely, you cannot do. Yes. Hare Krishna mantra is there. It's okay. I can do whatever I like. I can chant. I can eat some chicken and then come back chant again. I will listen six. Come back and chant. Have some gambling. I'll have you know. I'll have one piece of six cigarette with me and chant Hare Krishna mantra. No, you cannot think like that. Yes, bro. It is why this seven twenty eight uh, is clearly mentioning that unless you become sinless, you cannot become determined in your devotional service. Yes, bro. And uh, you go to Shrimad Bhagavatam. A first canto. Nine. Uh, that uh, that Parishit Maharaj. 
the four sinful acts. 11738 11738 read that Sutta, Sutta Goswami said Maharaj Parikshit thus being petitioned by the personality of Kali gave him the gave him permission to reside in places where gambling drinking prostitution and animal slaughter were performed Clear? Yeah. So this is the place Kali is living. Yes. Probably. So wherever you eat meat, Kali is living. Yes, Animal probably. slaughter means you are killing meat. That is why even though you are chanting one year, you are not able to make progress because you are eating meat. Yes, Understand? Yes, so when probably. you want to give up this? Uh, I will give up now, Prabhu. From now onwards. Yes. From today. Yeah. From today. Very good. Very bold. Yes. Okay. Thank Good. So from today onwards, you are not eating meat. Yes, Prabhu. I am not eating meat. It's a promise. What do you do if What do you do if someone forces you? Uh, I will eat something else. I will. Uh, I will say something, but I will not. I am not going to eat. Prabhu. Curd is there? Have curd. Have some rice. Have some curd rice. Yes. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Or yes, even Prabhu. water is there. Mix with the rice and take some water rice. No problem. Yes. Yes, probably. Or take some fruits. There yes, are so probably. many things available in this earth, you know, for us to live. So we don't need to be a barbarians by killing another living entities. Huh? Yes, probably. Yes, probably. So, Prabhupada says like that, the human being needs, uh, needs energy from animal body. To survive, we need energy from animal body. Civilized man, take it in the form of milk. Uncivilized men take in the form of flesh. Yeah. Yes, so we bro. also take we also take the blood of cow. Yes. But in the form of milk. Milk. Yes, brother. Without giving any pain to the cow. Yes, brother. Yeah, we take care of the cow. We serve the cow. The cow is serving us. In this way, we mutually, you know, we are serving each other, and then we're getting the benefit from each other. So, yes, yeah, you are, since you are serious in Krishna consciousness, especially 728, if you want to be determined in Krishna consciousness, you know, you cannot eat meat. Then you yes, see your Prabhu. progress, you know, then you can make a very good, very good progress. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Okay, now you become real Yajna from today onwards. Huh? <laughs> yajna is Vishnu's yes. name, you know. Y yajna yeah, Purush, yes, Yajna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Any any other questions here you want to ask? Uh, no, Prabhu. No, I don't have any questions. Okay. Okay. Well, I think uh, I hope this meeting was helpful to you to stop yes, some long pending. <laughs> it's a long pending matter, no? Yes, Prabhu. Mm, yes. Very good. Very good. Very happy to hear from you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, uh, Dimitri Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam, Jay Prabhupada. I think I'm, I'm seeing after many, many months, if I'm not wrong. Hare Krishna Prabhu, <laughs> please accept my humble business as how glad is the show. Jai, Jai Prabhupada. After many months, I'm seeing you. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. To, to be honest, I was a bit of my uh, I, I was a bit ashamed to show up on the meeting because when I was attending these uh, sessions. Everyone was sharing their nice realization, but I was feel yeah. like I have nothing to share. I'm still I feel I feel like I still stuck in the kindergarten of spiritual life, whereas everyone else is graduated from school and <laughs> moving forward. So <laughs> no, don't think like that. Because Krishna consciousness is beyond success or failure. That's what I will tell the devotees sometimes. Do not try to become successful in Krishna consciousness because being Krishna conscious itself is success. You understand? Mm. Yeah. You don't need to become successful in spiritual life. The moment you come to Krishna, you are already success. Mm. <laughs> so you don't need to compare with anybody, you know, thing like that. You are actually one of the inspiration for many devotees. You are from Russia and then you are coordinating things there, you know, helping the devotees. So, yeah, all devotees are inspired by you. 
<laughs> oh, actually, I I was I was getting inspired by other devotees, especially right. by Manu Prabhu who conducts this these Japa sessions. I mean, these Japa sessions, I mean, uh, boost boosted me a lot since I moved from my parents. I believe about three weeks ago. So I started to attend these sessions every morning. So I started to wake up early, and I can tell you for sure that this uh, helped me a lot. I mean, because before that i i chanted by myself and i was living with the parents by on my own uh but i wasn't attending these japa sessions but now i can feel the difference uh, when you wake up early and chant with the devotees and and yes. i started reading again in the morning so this will help me a lot and now i understand why you emphasizing on these japa sessions so much so Yes, this is there in Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, chapter 14, verse number 18. 14, 18, it can show. Urdvam gachandi sadvasta, madhye tishtandi rajasaha, jaganna gunavrittista, adho gachandi tamasa. Read the translation, bro, Dimitri, bro. Uh, those situated in the mode of goodness gradually go upward to the higher planets. Those in the mode of passion live on the earthly planets, and those in the abominable, abominable mode of ignorance go down to the hellish worlds. So, in other way of inter interpretation to the words, you can say that uh, if you associate with mode of goodness, you develop the qualities of devatas. If you are associating with the mode of uh, ignorance, then you are uh, developing the goodness of, you know, like, uh, you know, like uh, demon, demons, you know. So mm -hmm. that is why when you wake up in the morning and chant, you are associating with mode of goodness and you develop the great qualities of the demigods. Then naturally, you know, you are uh, getting all the good habits and all the bad habits are going away. Then you're becoming more determined. Huh? The whole thing is about associating in the Brahma Muhurta time. When you do that, when you wake up in the morning and then you chant, naturally, you know, you feel uh, you feel good. No need to compare yourself with other devotees. You know, everybody is different and everybody has different different uh, uh, cycle. You know, the last life was mine is different, yours is different and Manu Prabhu is different, Sami Prabhu is different and Vishnu Prabhu is different. We are all having different, different kind of uh, unfinished task task of Krishna consciousness, right? We all have unfinished yes. work. That That's how we have come back. And some are closer, some are far, some are, doesn't matter. You know? So we don't need to compare. Of course, it is good to think that others are better than you. There is always better. And that that should not be until the level of you leave the association, bro, I don't want to go there because I feel so inferior. It should not be like that. Yes. Uh, so it is good, you know. Yeah, it is good. Uh, that as you said, wake up in the morning. You know, early morning is very, very good. And that is the only saving grace, especially yes. in this Kaliuga. I remember you because told... We, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. I remember you told once that uh, the secret of success is waking up early and chanting all your rounds in the morning. So, uh, yes. so I'm I'm trying to follow this. And the ideal witness, Sundar Gopal Prabhu. I don't say myself, you know. I don't mm -hmm. say, but Sundar Gopal Prabhu. I mean, I even I I sometimes if I'm sick, I miss. I I, I wake up late or or sometimes if I'm sick, I'm not well. I'm physically unfit. And you know, and sometimes, very rarely, I, I also, it is not good, but I mean, I must admit that. But Sundar Gopal, I have never seen him missing Mangalati. And that's why he's shining like a moon, you know. And you know, everybody is like a star, he's shining, that everybody is, you know, wherever he goes, attracting people and become, people becoming serious. Yes. Yes, that is why this is, you know, he's a solid example. And uh, also, I have read uh, that, uh, you know, you know, the book, uh, called um, what is the difficulty no problem. have you heard the know. book what is the difficulty is a book by um, by one of his, by Sudha, 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 disciple sudakirti prabhu mm, yes his uh, re realizations with Prabhupada. this book because he is a personal servant of Prabhupada. and then is uh, he shares all his experience with Prabhupada, you know from you know what all his experience with Prabhupada. that book is there and that book there is one conversation is there and uh, one day, um, Prabhupada was talking to Sundakirti Prabhu about, uh, you know, like Mangalarati, you know, uh, very less people in Mangalarati. 
and then prabhu mm-hmm. was asking um, um, sudagirti prabhu oh, very sham sundar very sham sundar and uh, another two three days two three devotees name he said where are they then sudagirti prabhu said you know they are sleeping prabhu pad and prabhu said he called them and then you know they came and then prabhu said that you see this mangalarti is very very important you know if you don't miss mangalarti and then you chant your 16 rounds and follow four principles for 12 years whatever you say will become perfect prabhat said that so 12 years if you don't miss mangala harati and then you know you come follow four principles so whatever you say the moment you say in olden movies all you know we see you know puranas like they say yeah. that oh you become a stone you'll become a stone right yeah. <laughs> you know they will go, okay now now you become this they'll become that you know why it is because of the the tapas you know the the, the austerity robo say 12 years if you do whatever you say will become perfect so that's why yeah, sundar gopal prabhu has this potency to convince others to become serious yes that is why he has potency because like that's what i was i told sundar gopal prabhu also prabhu you are not doing anything special but you are the only one following robopad you know <laughs> robopad said you read my book every day and uh, most devotees are not reading books and uh, the word is serious about sri sundar gopal prabhu morning he read bhagavad gita afternoon he read bhagavatam evening he read chaitanya charitamrita every day every day for many many uh, many years that was his day to day activity morning he read bhagavad gita then afternoon bhagavatam like chaitanya charitamrita every day every day every day he read bhagavatam more than 50 times wow so you know you know what is where that is why you know he has the capacity to convince others he has the capacity to quote from here and there no need to prepare anything you just speak like that and you know like whatever little knowledge all our devotees have also it is simply because of him you know because we got trained by him you know we know all these things and he is the ideal example of uh, the power of mangala harati waking up in the morning <clears throat> yeah you also inspire others you know you you got the experience so whoever you train whoever comes uh, comes in touch with you you tell them the importance of waking up in the morning yes i will mm. definitely tell because mm. now i understand yes how is everything going there in russia what what is it from how is everything in russia going on uh my many everything is going nicely brandender uh, nan prabhu uh, sent reports from their preaching i mean many new people are coming to the temple and he is preaching to them i'm also i'm also hoping uh, by the end of this month so maybe in the beginning of the november i will come to see them so mm-hmm. i pray krishna so i can make it mm-hmm. you are staying with your family uh no i moved from them Uh, about 3 weeks ago where are you uh i mean in russia no i mean alone or in the temple or i no i'm i'm alone oh you're not married right no no prabhu okay so you're living alone yes prabhu and you're working yes okay mm. you're far from the temple is it not near the temple mm, yes about 2000 kilometers from the temple 2000 kilometers oh my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay yeah. yeah it is i think only the indians and chinese and russians can understand this 2000 3000 kilometers and all <laughs> <laughs> uh, european countries cannot understand this 2000 kilometers <laughs> country is under uh, sorry our whole country is under 2000 kilometers <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay no problem so you have a question here is it prabhu one devotee yes, prabhu. is quoting the following purport and saying that we can be guru if you follow everything shrimad bhagavatam 4185 purport although a follower may not be able may not be a liberated person if you follow the supreme although a follower may not be a liberated person if he follows the supreme liberated personality of god at his actions are naturally liberated from the contamination of material nature now shaitanya therefore says by may order you may become a spiritual master like immediately become a spiritual master by having a full faith in the transcendental words of supreme personality of god and by the following his instructions so 
Okay, uh, but that means Ikshar Guru, right? Okay. So once Prabhupada was talking to uh, the devotees, the importance of preaching. And then he was asking the daughter of Shamananda Prabhu, Shamsundar Prabhu, Ma, uh, Saraswati, the small doctor, the small daughter. Then uh, Prabhupada said, Saraswati, who is Krishna? And uh, then she said, uh, the supreme personality of God. And she said, she is also preaching. Uh, if a child can preach, then why you cannot preach? So, we all should become spiritual masters. That is the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and that has to be followed. Uh, so, if you if you see the common sense, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, by my order, you may become a spiritual master. Means, all the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu become Guru. Then who is a disciple here? If everybody become Guru, who is a disciple here? Yes. This order is not only for Iskon Gurus. Na. If by my order you become a spiritual master, it is for you also, for me also, for Yajna Prabhu also, for Pralachinda Prabhu also, for Sami Prabhu also, for Vishnu Prabhu also, Vivek Prabhu also. If all of us become spiritual master, who will be a disciple here? Hmm. So the understanding of this verse is that you all become a mentor or a guide or a siksha guru for every other people. Suppose now you are going to your, you know, you are going to work. In the workplace, you become a spiritual master mm -hmm. by giving Prabhupada books, by telling them Krishna is supreme person, by giving some prasadam. Then you are guiding them. Just like I am giving instruction now. I am trying to give some association so that because I am also taking association. Both ways is going on. I am giving some, uh, you know, like answers to all your questions. So in that way, does it not mean that I am I am guiding you? If I am guiding you, does it not mean that uh, it's a, it's a spiritual master or a teacher? But this is actually siksha. Mm -hmm. It is not diksha. It's a very common sense. But yes, people who are greedy to become, uh, uh, you know, like a power, they want to. We need to get power. And those fools and rascals, they misuse this verse by saying, yes. see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered, so Jaipatha Goswami become Guru. Then he also become Guru, na? Hmm. Why only Jaipatha Goswami? He also become Guru. Yeah, yeah, I will become when I... Then you are not qualified, right? This, this is not a general instruction. This general instruction to become a Siksha Guru. Hmm. So even if you are a liberated person, still you cannot become Diksha Guru in our movement anymore. Here it is mentioned that one may not be a liberated person. What I am saying is that even if a liberated person, you cannot become Diksha Guru in our movement because Prabhupada never ordered anybody to become Guru. Even if you are, for example, Sundar Gopal Prabhu, you know, he is of course, he is very advanced. You know, he is completely competent to become a Diksha Guru. No doubt about that. You know, I don't see, I don't see he is lacking any of the qualities. He is... Uh, I don't see any of the qualities that he is lacking to become a Diksha Guru. But it is not the order of Prabhupada. There is no order from Prabhupada. So, he is sincere to Prabhupada. So, he don't demand. He don't demand that. Whereas, you see, all his God brothers have got so much of money, so much of, you know, like a properties and so much of temples and so much of disciples and bank balance and they are happy now. And he also can be happy this way. In fact, they offered him. They offered him to become, a, you know, like a Diksha Guru, you know. Okay, Jayapada Goswami, I think so. He offered Sundar Gopal Prabhu. Sundar Gopal, you want to become Diksha Guru? You want to take sannyas? You want to become Diksha Guru? He said, no, no, I don't want to do this. Sundar Gopal Prabhu said. So, we all have to become a spiritual master because there are so many, so many conditioned souls. They are still not uh, attracted to the lotus feet of Krishna. And then they are marching towards Yambuloka. So our job is to become merciful and then, you know, compassionate on them and then deliver them back home, back to Godhead. So this is the verse. This verse means you become Siksha Guru. Hmm? There's no logic in that to say that uh, all of you become Diksha Guru. Clear? Uh, yes, Prabhu, for me, that is clear. I mean, uh, Rajendranandam Prabhu and me, we're just uh, preaching to one devotee uh, mm -hmm. who is one 
who is uh, from that camp uh, who is quoting this verse uh, to support this idea to becoming a Diksha Guru. Because many devotees, I mean, uh, who are against rhetoric system, especially from Gaur Govindas uh, Swami's camp, uh, they say, uh, they say, you asking us for order, like Shri Prabhupada said, when I order you, you become Guru, but uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already gave the order, so that's why we can become a Guru. But we explain them, so that it's about Shikshi Guru. Yes. So Prabhupada order is already there. Prabhupada order is there that uh, you all become um, instructing spiritual masters. So you become a rhetoric and preach. Like I think 1978, that uh, that quote is Prabhupada right letter to uh, somebody. He's saying that now you set your own field and uh, and act as rhetoric. You remember that? Mm. You remember what that? is it again? Uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll try to find it. Uh, make your own field. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, be guru in your own field? Right. Yeah. Proper letter to Hamsa Duda. Ropa letter to Hamsa Duda. I am sharing here. I am typing here. You can see. I have selected you among 11 men as Ritwik or representative of Acharya to give initiation, both first and second initiation on my behalf. Make your own field and act to become Ritwik and act on my behalf. Letter mm -hmm. to Hamsa Duda by July 10, 31st, 19th. This is after July 9 letter. Make your own field and continue to become Ritwik. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, you now, Rajendra Nandan Prabhu is preaching in Charashya. Nobody disturbs him. He is preach peacefully preaching, right? Yes. And he is acting as Ritwik. Mm. Okay, one more thing also there. Wait on. So this is also there. Of course, I'm finding from a website. Okay, here you can see that you have written to Shri Prabhupada saying that you not, do not know why he has chosen you to be recipient of his mercy. His, his divine grace immediately replied, it is because you are my sincere servant. You have given up attachment to beautiful and qualified wife. That is a great benediction. You are a real preacher. Therefore, like you, they're laughing sometimes. You become obstinate. But that is true of any intelligent man. Now you have got a very good field. Now organize it. And it will be a great credit. No one will disturb you there. Make your own field and continue to be Ritwik act on my behalf. Everybody, everything is independent. Every temple is independent. So we just have a managerial. We just have a managerial. So. So this is the whole movement is all about. Nobody is going to serve you there. Make your own feel and act as. That's it. You got it? Can you share this? Yeah, you can share that. <laughs> this was some conversation. This is Kamal Krishna Maharaj, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to disturb you there. Make your own field and continue to become rhetoric and act on my charge. People are becoming sympathetic there. This place is very nice. Mm -hmm. So this is the meaning of uh, Apani Achar, sorry, um, Amara Gya Guru. Oh, yeah. So this is the meaning of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction of you become a guru. Hmm. You become a guru. I found okay, another conversation. Yeah, read, 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 read this. Okay. 
uh, Gopal Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, I'm just trying to clarify, I don't want to offend anyone, but no disciple of yours should call himself Dikshiguru or Shikshiguru. Am I right, Prabhupada? <clears throat> Well, everyone is engaged to become Shikshiguru, but one should become perfect. The attempt is what is called probationer. When probationer period is finished, then he is naturally automatically bona fide guru, not in the probational period. There is immature attempt. That will become that will become failure. Amaru Amara Gyaya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, by my order. So all my disciples are expected to become Shikshiguru on my order, not by his own order. That is meaning. Yes. Uh, that I'm giving sannyas, I'm sending you to different places. So this means that you have to carry out the order of the guru very strictly. Then you become mature. Otherwise, it will be artificial attempt, and that kind of guru will not help. So even Siksha guru also, not a joke, you know. <laughs> yes. That's also required. That's why Prabhupada is saying here. Upon my order, you become a Siksha guru. No. Mm. Of course, my order means uh, for Diksha Guru now that can go by the parampara, by the uh, body of Prabhupada, the GBC and then the temple, temple president. But then they will order you. Suppose you are serving our temple as a brahmachari. As a temple president, when I see you are qualified, then I'll tell you, Prabhu, now you guide people. <clears throat> there. I tell you, bro, now mm -hmm. you go and uh, help people, you know. That's how it works. But of course, it is not about Diksha Guru. Diksha Guru is completely, you know, like, they are Nitya, Nitya Vaddhas, you know. Nitya yeah. Siddhas. Only Nitya Siddha devotee can become a spiritual master, you know. Conditioned soul cannot become a spiritual master. They should be Nitya Siddha. Yeah, and that's Only why, Nitya Siddha. Uh, uh, going back to that, Purport from the fourth canto that it is said that although a person uh, is can uh, is not liberated, he can become a guru uh, if he follows strictly everything. So that's why that devotees quoted that. Mm -hmm. So you see, I'm not I'm conditioned soul, but I can become a guru anyway. I mean, mm. yes, yes, bro. So anything on this point? No, bro. For me, questions? now it's pretty clear. Any other questions? Anybody want to say something? Want to ask anything? Uh, this week I saw many people came for the oh, Japan yeah. session. <laughs> ah, yes. Vivek Prabhu, Dandavad Pranam, Jai Prabhu Pad. How are you? Yeah, I cannot hear. Yeah, yeah, I cannot hear you. Network is not good. I cannot cannot hear. I, I think slightly better now. Hmm. Tell me. Now though. I think I think okay now. Tell him, bro. Mm. Speak. Yes. Uh, like uh, I have a question, bro. Yes. Uh, like what you say that uh, when mind was thinking uh, like uh, opposite to Krishna consciousness. Huh? Bro? Mm. Mm. Uh, mind but, was thinking uh, mm. opposite to Krishna consciousness. Okay. So mm. next, uh, or from intelligence, uh, I will bring the uh, that uh, I mean, the, I mean, what opposite uh, thinking of uh, that I uh, will bring uh, to Krishna consciousness by intelligence, but um, mm. by uh, how to avoid that uh, thinking of uh, uh, I mean opposite to Krishna consciousness. Mm. Yes. So, so the quality of the mind is to disturb you. That's why yeah. the mind is called as an enemy, right? You know the verse, right? Bhagavad Gita. It says the mind enemy. Do you know Bhagavad Gita says mind is our enemy? Do you know that? Yes, bro. I heard, but uh, verse for verse number, I don't. Know. You should know. You know, basic verse. What is the verse number? 
Kronos. ಅನ್ಸ್ಟಡಿ See, Arjuna is saying that mind is restless and unsteady. Same thing what you are saying, right? Yes, sir. It is restless and unsteady. Mind is always restless. 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 and to subdued it i think is more difficult than controlling the wind okay so so the shai sarjuna is saying that controlling mind is more difficult than controlling the wind okay read what krishna is saying ho oh, krishna uh, i mean lord krishna uh, said o oh, almighty har it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment so go to go inside the verse asamshaya mahabaho bhagavan uvacha asamshaya mahabaho ಮನು ದುರ್ನಿಗ್ರಹ ಚಲಂ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯೇನ ಚೃಹ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಅಸಂಶಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಸೊ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಮಹಾಬಾಹು ಮಹಾಬಾಹು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಆರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಸೀಂಗ್ ಓ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಹಾಬಾಹು mahabaho means uh, you have so much of strength but still you cannot control your mind mano durnigraham chalam durnigraham means uh, to to control the mind uh, is uh, very very difficult Th- then what is solution krishna is saying the first thing is what abhyasena what is abhyasena what is meaning abhyasena you read practicing. that by practice practicing yeah tu kaunteya vairagyena what does vairagyena by detachment yeah check grahyate so if you want to control the mind that two things are required one is abhyasa another one is vairagya vairagya means uh, telling no to the mind that is vairagya you should learn how to say no to the mind whenever the mind is demanding something say no yes, say no that is a way to control the child even the child also the art of parenting is that uh, the child will demand you give me this give me that give me this give me that 
but uh, as the parent uh, you should always tell them no to most of the things only few things yes, you can you should give the child because you start giving everything to the child then the child will demand you more and more and then they will not able to you know like uh, take any disappointment in life that's why the parent should say no to most of the things and only few things the parent should give the child similarly for the mind also you should always say no 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 and then you give only important things otherwise you always say no to the mind that is called vairagya abhyasa means practice just wake up in the morning and chant hari krishna follow four principles and uh, read bhagavad gita come for this bhagavad gita this course to goshti and you know ask questions associate with the devotees that is abhyasa abhyasa in the kaunte ya vairagya na cha grahyate grahyate means that then you can control the mind read the translation lord please lord shri krishna said oh almighty aram son of kunti it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment understand so you do that yes, i am seeing nowadays you coming in the morning for mangala arati it is very nice and you also must come to the temple and stay with the devotees now and then you know then that will yes, give you a lot of strength if you staying alone now it is very difficult to make progress yes bro clear yes bro yeah you are uh, yes, not eating onion garlic right no 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 bro not eating no okay good no. yeah good 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 so you understood yes bro so keep on practicing ah huh? keep on practicing this yes, bro any other questions Any other questions? No, sir. No, no, no. Anybody has any other questions? Sujit Prabhu, how are you? Fine, Prabhu. Our highest came Haridas Thakur. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. हरे कृष्णा धन्यवाद प्रणाम जय प्रभात जपा लीडर ऑफ आई एस के एम हरे कृष्णा लीग गुड 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 हाउ इज जपा सेशन गोइंग ऑन एवरीबडी इज कमिंग सिंसियरली प्रभु नियरली थ्री मेंबर्स कमिंग रेगुलरली प्रभु विष्णु प्रभु इज वेरी रेगुलर या विष्णु प्रभु योर सर प्रभु Very Prabhu, happy to hear he was not coming for long time. Asking, please come, please come. Now he's coming. Very happy to hear that. Hmm. Good. I saw sometimes uh, Sujay Prabhu also. First few days I saw, then he was missing. I don't know what happened. Sujay Prabhu, what happened? You came for some time and then he stopped. You are there, Sujay. I think he's not there. No, oh, he, he just sent the question. Oh, send the question. I can't focus on cooking if I'm listening to class assembly nicely. What should? I? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll I'll finish with Sujit first. Yes, yeah, Sujit. Yeah, yeah. You can open the video. By seeing you, I'm getting purified. No, no, bro. Your face is glowing. You are standing in front of light, huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> so, I am at the temple, bro. Oh, good. Temple, bro. I yeah. think Lord Ganges is oh. the temple, bro. You can do some book distributions there, now. Ah, uh, I suppose I will try, bro. Yeah, you can take some books from us, and then you can distribute it there. and uh, we have our uh, vinod krishna prabhu is uh, from kadapu also he has his relatives and everybody there vinod yes, krishna sir. he will come he will come after some time when he comes you go and meet him there hmm? yes, sir. yeah you go and meet him there how is everything going so okay now all problems solved Fine, bro. Nah, not many, any troubles, bro. 
strong uh, somewhat peaceful prabhu not any more any troubles bro. yeah become strong eh? not very strong prabhu <laughs> some <laughs> no, not very strong hanuman is there no there you go and take shelter of hanuman you take shelter of hanuman you know ask him to give some yes, sir, strength here is hanuman bro uh, yeah he has so much of strength you go ask him hold this lord's feet and ask him for strength <laughs> but he will make you brahmachari no problem he will make you brahmachari yes sir <laughs> Anuman will make you brahmachari, you know, you have to be careful. <laughs> okay, just joking. No problem. Hmm? So, how about your uh, reading? What are you reading now? Uh, I sometimes read uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, sometimes with the Prabhu. Bhagavad Gita Prabhu. Bhagavad Gita, you finished one. Uh, I just read Prabhu, not in this. Not a careful study, bro. Just I read for once. That's it. Right. Okay. Bhag Bhagavatam, you are reading by order. By order, you are reading. Ah uh, yes, bro. In the starting, I started from first canto, bro. I completed first canto, but somehow or other, I got ah uh, uh, some breaks came, bro. Ah, uh, I, I because of going to college, I'm like that. Ah, uh, my Bhagavatam study broke, bro. Then I. I restarted from the first canto, Prabhu. Okay, good, good. You read, read again because Bhagavatam is very deep, you know. Even if you read again, also you'll always understand always newer things. Good. How how many hours you read a day? Read at least one hour a day. Clear. Prabhu. At least read one hour a day. I'm saying. Uh, read, read. Books. Not regularly, Prabhu. Uh, some day, some, yes, Prabhu. Some day, some days I read, Prabhu. Sometimes I just hear uh, Sundar Gopal, Prabhu. Like that, that's it, Prabhu. Like that, Prabhu. Try to read as much as possible, huh? Yes, Prabhu. Sure. Hmm. Do you have any questions? No, Prabhu. Good. Good. Now uh, motivate everybody to come for the new bhaktas all here. Yajna Prabhu, you know, like uh, all of them. Invite them to come for the morning japa. Sujay Prabhu, all of them. Ah, uh, 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 encourage them. Pradeesh Pradeesh Prabhu also coming nowadays. Mangla Arati chanting. Yes, Prabhu. Dilip also will come. Dilip was not doing well this week. From this week he will. From tomorrow he will come on time for japa. Yes, Prabhu. Okay, okay then. Nah, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. So, Jai Prabhu. Jai Prabhu. Jai. So, so Jai Prabhu. Yeah. So I can't focus on cooking if I'm listening to a class simultaneously. So what should I do while doing service? I don't know. If you cannot uh, focus, then you cook. So in that case, uh, in cooking time, we should not be thinking anything else. your mind should be only focused on cooking if you cannot focus on the class your mind should not also focus on some mundane things if your mind is wandering to mundane things means you know you are your understanding is not right in either way you just play propa lectures even if you don't listen it is okay even if one word here and there that can penetrate your ears even when i am cooking also Uh, if I cook and then I play the lecture, I don't hear everything. And suddenly, one word will go inside my ears, you know, or oh, that will give some, some, some piece of information to me and a different kind of realizations, you know. So that is the thing, you know. You should uh, even though you're doing service, you play proper lectures, and then you cook. Even if you don't listen, it is okay. Mm -hmm. You focus on cooking. Yeah, mm -hmm. I should not so, come late for chanting. That is very, very, very important. You should come chanting on time. Why you are coming late for chanting, Sujay? It's not good, not acceptable. Missing, not coming for japa is not acceptable. Okay, that is the 
most important duty the first principle is to chant hari krishna mantra after that only everything else comes understand so this week i want to see you yeah i want to see you this week every day in the japa session yeah because i am also coming and of course i won't be whole time i'll chant but i because i have other service also i will not be online i will be online for some time just to uh, see all of you then i log off from uh, telegram mm -hmm. so you should come you should chant try to finish your majority of rounds in the morning itself yeah clear yeah. so we are drona prabhu also here what you are not coming for morning japa session prabhu even though i come drona. nobody is here prabhu i am alone chanting i'm i'm Where chanting you going to hare krishna league or vaishnava sangha krishna uh, vaishnava sangha i don't know prabhu vaishnava sangha only prabhu i'm mostly chanting so how many rounds you are chanting now every day right now eight prabhu because of uh, this heavy schedule i am chanting eight rounds so do you accept prabhupad as guru yeah pra yes pra yes prabhu do you understand iskm uh yes prabhu i need but i need like... some more time huh i did not saw that videos prabhu difference between this no, no. game you don't understand prabhu this guru yes prabhu you don't understand prabhu this guru i understand prabhu as guru prabhu now ah, then then what is it? then is kon is saying prabhu not guru right yeah i don't know prabhu then why you should see then why you should see videos if you are seeing hmm. videos also you understand right is kon is deviating Yes, Prabhu Prabhu. says he is the guru, and this con people say somebody else is guru. What is a so difficult thing to understand? This con is deviating. Actually, my friend uh, when go, I mean my friend day uh, every Sunday Prabhu he goes to classes Gita classes for Gita classes. Ah. They are they said uh, Krishna. I mean Krishna is uh, Vishnu not is a form of Krishna. They said something wrong information it seems Prabhu. Hmm. He's saying that he's asking about that that question. What is it? He's asking about that question. What is it? Something wrong information is from about that Gita lectures. Okay. Then he asked. He came and asked me about this. Okay. I can't remember what he said, bro. No, that is different topic. but what i am saying is that uh iskon is not accepting prabhupada as guru okay they say that prabhupada is died and then they want a uh, living gurus and prabhupada clearly says that you know just now also i was showing but you are not there just now also you are okay, can you show that again that uh, that uh, on your open, it is here the, in the chat it is here you can you open a, make your own field make your own invite. field see here i am um, can you read this uh drona prabhu yes, yes prabhu Prabhupada, I have selected you among the eleven men of the rookie for the representation of the Acharya to give the instructions about the both and second instructions on on my behalf. Make you are on me on make you are on on field and continue to become Rishi and act on my behalf. Let that to the answer to the July ten thirty first nineteen seventy. Yes, Prabhu. And thirty first also two times Prabhupada wrote the letter. Yeah. So here, Prabhupada clearly says that you act, make your own field and act as the speaker and continue preaching. Clear. So Prabhupada yes, is always saying, even even just three months before Prabhupada leave the body, Prabhupada says that you become the speaker to preach, right? Yes, Prabhupada. But does this instruction is followed by Prabhupada now? By by Iskon now? Iskon is following this instruction? No, Prabhupada. Then, then of course you see video. We don't say no, but we don't need to see video to convince that Papa is Guru. This video mm. you are seeing to uh, increase your faith on this. That's it. 
Uh -huh. It is so simple logic, Prabhupada, this Guru. Okay. Yes, so if Prabhupada. you, uh, I do one thing, this one week, uh, you spend your time on understanding all the videos and everything. Next yes, week, we will uh, we'll put you to Hare Krishna League. Mm. Hare Krishna League, about some 7, 8 devotees coming to chant everything together. Mm -hmm. uh, all Syria, all uh, sincere devotees are in Hare Krishna League. We have another group, Vaishnava Sangha is for basic, you know, mm -hmm. for new bhaktas. Yes, problem. This Hare Krishna League is for uh, sincere ice cream followers. Mm -hmm. We will promote you to that group there. You can get uh, more association. I will try, Papa. Yeah. Because actually, what happened means, Prabhu. Uh, the college has given the schedule to complete these many chapters uh, today, these many chapters today. That uh, because of that schedule, I could not join the reading session as well. I can I, I had joined the Japa session, but uh, I'm getting really time. That and that's why I'm chanting only eight rounds and reading Srila Prabhupada books when I get time or two to three papers, Prabhu. If I get more time in uh, in college, I will get I get study hour. I use that study hour to read that book biography. Mm. Go to Srimad Bhagavatam. Sixth canto, third chapter. Six, three, twenty nine. Read, read translation. Okay, bravo. My dear servants, bring to me. Only those sinful persons who do not use their tongue on the chant the holy name and the qualities of Krishna, whose, whose heart do not become the lotus feet of Krishna even once, and those whose hands do not blow down even once before Lord Krishna, send me those who does not perform their duties towards Vishnu. Which are the only which are the only duties in the human life? Please bring me all such fools and rascals. Which are the? Yes, Prabhu. I understand. Which are which are the? What is mentioned? Prabhu? Send me those uh, who do not perform their duties. Uh, send me those who, who does not perform their duties towards Vishnu. Which are the only duties duties in human life? Please bring me all such kind, all such fools and rascals. Which are the fools and rascals? In, which are the only duties in human life? Chanting Hare Krishna. And you are saying that, and you are saying that you have some duties, so you cannot chant. Either you should be right, or Yamaraj must be right. No problem. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> Yamaraj is saying Yamaraj is saying that chanting is the only duty, mm. and you are saying that college is important duty, which is right. Yeah, bro. I mean, no ex no excuse, no excuse for chanting. If you don't have time, then you sleep less, eat less. No problem. You can reduce the eating and sleeping. But okay, you cannot Prabhu. reduce your chanting or hearing. Okay, Prabhu. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Prabhu. That, that yes, you Prabhu. have to do. You know, then we can make progress. Prabhu? Yes, you cannot make progress. Yeah. Uh, if the one follows Rutvika system, I uh, mean, Rutvik system, uh -huh. um, in the, I mean, is my, um, Prabhu, you know Hindi or Telugu? Uh, not much. Why well, you can see English now? English better. Oh, it's gone, Prabhu. I mean, some sometimes I just no problem. I understand. You speak English, I don't understand. Hmm. Yeah, Prabhu. What happened I means don't know Hindi. Some are saying you the uh, the system is not at all good. As uh, something, something, Prabhu. Prabhupada is saying your Rithvik system, right? Prabhupada is saying make your field, make your own field and continue to become Rithvik and act on behalf of, no? 
So you want to follow some people or you want to follow Prabhupada? Prabhupada Prabhu. Then why you worry about the some people who want to take you to hell? Mm, I mean, Sir Prabhupada is clearly saying that continue to become Ritvik and act on my behalf. Mm. So it means the Ritvik system is the one wanted by Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you now, if you take my words, within 50 years, Iskorn will accept Guru system, robot system. Mm -hmm. Iskorn will, Iskorn will, I don't know, I'll be there or not that time. Maybe, you know, future generation can see that. Yes, within Prabhupada. 50 years, Iskorn will give up the Guru system and accept Prabhupada. And then mm -hmm. there will be a day, there will be a day where Iskorn make a public apology to the world saying that, you know, we are following the wrong system and then they will thank Sundar Gopal Prabhu mm. for his contribution and mm. then, you know, they will accept the Ritvik system. There will be a day within 50 years. I may be there, I may not be there, but you you, you all must be there. Yeah. <laughs> it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. Already it is happening. Iskorn Guru's uh, respond. Iskorn Guru's uh, you know, like a potency and the powers all decreasing year by year by year by year. And the GBC mm -hmm. is controlling the gurus like anything, you know, almost they are becoming their GBC's dogs, you know. Mm -hmm. They have no rights. So mm -hmm. it will happen after all the powerful gurus all disappear in his mm -hmm. corn, direct disciples. After that, you know, all the new sannyasis will be there and their potency will be so low. And those times, and this corn will uh, follow the system. And the, that time we see all the people who support the system, they'll be like focus. You know? mm -hmm. uh, there is no there is no you know like uh, evidence, you know, solid proof. Mental mm -hmm. speculation. Yes. Uh, Prabhu, yeah. how to become how to become first class devotee, Prabhu? Chanting and hearing about uh, Hari, I mean Lord Vishnu. Your voice is breaking. Hello, Prabhu. Can you? Okay, my voice yeah. is clear. Uh, yes. How to become first class devotee, Prabhu? How to become first class devotee? Yeah, Prabhu. Become second class first. <laughs> yeah, bro. Become second class first, then you can go to first class. Then means, shape, uh, Prabhu, can you say how to become first? Ah. Uh, you have to follow the 16 rounds. You follow, wake up in the morning and read Prabhupada books. That's it. And serve him. That's it. And you patiently wait. Not one day you become second class devotee or something. It will yes, take many years. It will take many, many years more to become first class devotee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So chant 16 rounds and follow four principles. And most important thing, wake up in the morning. Accept Prabhupada's mm -hmm. guru, read Prabhupada books, and issue Prabhupada books, preach about Prabhupada. In this way, you keep your life busy in Krishna's service 24 hours. In that case, you'll become second class devotee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I want to see you. Um, is it is it not possible to Samir Prabhu? Is it not possible to have a common japa session for uh, both of them? Hare Krishna League, Vaishnava Sangha, why do you have to chant separately? I'm not sure, Prabhu. I think the time zone is different, but huh? Prabhu knows better because usually it's too early for me. So I haven't seen. No, 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 no not, not for you. I'm saying technically, is it possible to let them also join only Japa session? Uh, Prabhu, we need to invite them to Hare Krishna League then. Because those devotees who is not in Krishna, Hare Krishna League, they chanting in Vaishnava Sangha group. Yeah. But Hare Krishna League, we just don't want to bring so many people, no? We want to bring only yes, those but who are... we conduct Japa sessions in Vaishnava Sangha also. So at least mm -hmm. when I wake up, if if some, if some nobody uh, started this Japa session, I start and everybody joins. Mm. Vaishnava Sangha, not many people chanting, is it? Morning? Uh, six, seven people on average. Yes, Prabhu. At least when I wake up. Huh? 
at least when I wake up at 4 a.m., it's uh, 9 in, or a.m. in Singapore, even though still many devotees join from India and other places. Okay. Okay, I'll because talk to Prabhu and find out. Yes. Usually, yes. even when I open the, usually when I open the Japa session, it's six thirty, and even then, people from India join. When it's six thirty for. Yes. So how much is? Yeah, okay. yeah. By the time we we wake up, most of the Indian devotees they finish their rounds. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay. Good. I'll talk to Manu Prabhu huh, and find out. What is your time now, uh, Dimitri Prabhu? It's almost 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah. So two and a half hours you'll be behind this. Yes. Two and a half hours you'll be behind this. Mm -hmm. So it means uh, when we were uh, 6.30, it's 4 o'clock for you. Oh, yeah. By the time you come for Japa session, all of us finish our chanting. <laughs> yes. Yes, no problem. We can have a different. Mm. But this month, in fifteen days, they will move the clock here one hour back, so it will again change. So what? So it will go back means it will become three o'clock. Yeah. So the difference will increase more. Yeah, and now I wake up five a.m. Then I will, if I wake the same time, I will be waking at four a.m. because they change the clock. I mean, I cannot even imagine that. It's very confusing. I cannot even. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot even imagine that. <laughs> that kind of uh, life. Yes, bro. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, if no much questions, we can stop here. You want to say something, Sami Prabhu? Mm, no, Prabhu. Um, tomorrow or like first moving starts. So, we've been really busy. Oh. Mm. The house is yeah. all the stuff is like that. Oh, okay. Okay. You are leaving this house, huh? Yes, Prabhu. So tomorrow we have to carry this stuff all day. So you have some packers and movers kind of stuff? Yes, like few like my sister will be coming and like few relatives. Okay then. Thank you so much. For everybody, thanks for coming today. Thank you so much for association. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for your kind of session. Thank you, Prabhu. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Prabhu. 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 Thank you, we use for a uh, in India. We use for that uh, Vishnu puja only, Prabhu. No, no, do it with the Gopi Chandan. Okay, bro. If you're following Prabhupada, you you cannot buy Gopi Chandan there. I I mean, <clears throat> if I have to buy that Gopi Chandan, means I need to go to his corner and I have to buy buy Prabhu. Yeah, you buy go his corner and buy Gopi Chandan. Prabhu, okay, bro. Uh, yeah, go uh, go to his corner. Buy mm. the Gopi Chandan and we are. Uh, yes, bro. We are Kantimala also. I had Veer Prabhu already. Kantimala is my mm. neck. Right yeah, you, you follow Prabhupada strictly. Whatever Prabhupada says, that you have to put mm. with the Gopi Chandan. Mm. Okay. Sure. Yes, bro. Prabhu, Prabhu I have come. Thank I mean, I'm right now. I'm continuously reading Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> I have yeah. few doubts, at Prabhu. Second chapter, eleventh, uh, second, se second chapter, eleventh sloka, Prabhu. Eleventh and twelfth okay. one. I have doubts in that, mm. Prabhu. Can you clarify, please? What doubt do you have? Second chapter, Bhagavad Gita. Second chapter, eleventh sloka. Ah, this one only, Prabhu. Right, this is the screen. Mm. <clears throat> the Supreme Personality of the Godhead said, While speaking learned words, you are murmuring for what is not worthy of grief. Those who, those who are wise murmur, either for the living or the, for the dead. Mm. 
I actually have a Bhagavad Gita in Telugu Prabhu. That's why I, I mean I can read Telugu, but it takes some time to understand. Hmm. Now, what is the what is the doubt in this? <clears throat> I mean, if the one is not, I mean, Krishna says to Arjuna that you are murmuring for what is not. I did not get this problem. No, but what is your question? This sloka I did not understand. Prabhu, eleventh sloka, Sanskrit. No, you have Telugu, right? Yeah, Prabhu. Telugu Bhagavad Gita, you understood? Uh, I am trying to understand, Prabhu. So this verse means that you know, like Arjuna is worrying about the body so much, mm. worrying about the body, just like my uncle, my auntie, my relatives, you know, like that is crying. Mm. So he is a uh, he is worrying, you know, like uh, about all the uh, worldly things, like my relatives, mm. and then you know, like uh, power and the post, and you know, like he is worrying like that. That's why Krishna is saying that uh, you are mourning. Mourning means you know you are you are worrying. You are worrying for what is not worthy of grief. It means. You should not worry about the body is dying. Mm. That is not most important thing. Those who are wise, yeah. will neither for the living nor for the dead. It means that those who are wise people, they they are indifferent to birth and death because they know that after death birth will be there. After birth death will be there. Mm. So they are mm. indifferent. You know, the wise people. You know, they are. Uh, so he's saying to Arjuna that uh, you are not the body, you are a spirit soul. Then why do you worry that uh, this person will die or that person will die? And nobody is going to die. It's only the uh, soul is going to change. The soul is going to change the body. Mm. So why you worry so much about uh, the physical demise of the bodies? Mm -hmm. So this is the understanding of this verse. Twelfth uh, one, Prabhu. Twelfth shloka. Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, or nor in the future shall any of us case to be. I think maybe Prabhu's connection went. Yeah, yes, Prabhu. Yeah, connection. sorry, got disconnected. Yes, yeah. Read, read, read the verse. Yes, Prabhu. Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us, any of us cease to be. Mm. It means like we always. The soul is never stopping to exist. The soul is always existing either in the spiritual world or in the material world. Sometimes as a human being, sometimes as animal, sometimes as this or sometimes as that, but you know, we are always existing. Even Krishna also he appears always taking different, different incarnations and doing different duty. So he's saying that we are not stopping to exist, we are always existing. And why you say that this, he, he will die or she will die? Why you think like that? Nobody is going to die. That is the meaning of this verse. Then only he will go to 2.13 saying that um, that verse is there. Not 2.13. What is that? Dehi no sinada dehe kaumaram yuvanam jara tadave handara prapti dheerat patrana mukheti As an embodied soul continuously passes from uh, youth to from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passed to another body at death. The sober person is not limited by sea change. He explains like that. So, Prabhupada's uh, lecture is there for all the verses. You can just go to uh, in the Google, you can just find the Bhagavad Gita mm -hmm. classes by Prabhupada and all the verses, whatever verse you don't understand, yes, you just go to just go to uh, 
um, Google and then you search for Prabhupada class on that particular verse. Then Prabhupada will explain you about 40 minutes on that particular story. You can show Sami Prabhu. You can show how to find the verse. Prabhupada the audio. Just search. No, no, just hearing is okay. No need to put transcript. Just, oh, it's there, huh? Okay. Yeah. See, it is 2.12. If we can forward a bit. Almost an hour. The audio is not coming. <clears throat> and as you, so you are experiencing that all individual, they are all living entities, either human okay. being or animal or bar. Like this, like this, you can now whichever the worst you have a doubt, you can just go to Prabhupada lecture, you can play. Then you can understand very clearly. Ashur Prabhu. Mm. Prabhu? Yes. Reading Prabhupada books will help us in chanting. Otherwise, it increases in Krishna consciousness. Or it help us to <clears throat> uh, how to deal. Uh, I mean, how to deal with this material world as well as spiritual world. Sorry, what is that? Reading Prabhupada books help us in increasing Krishna consciousness or fate uh, or how to deal with this material world uh, and uh, balance uh, spiritual world. That automatically happen, you know. You don't need to balance. It will be balanced. Krishna consciousness person is not giving up the material world, no. So after becoming Krishna consciousness, you stop eating or what? We don't stop no, eating. We don't stop sleeping, right? Yes, so even uh, Dimitri, uh, Dimitri Prabhu also working. He's working and then he's in Russia and he's chanting 16 rounds and he's following four principles. Uh, so we have all you. The Sujit is studying, and then he's also studying, and then he's going exams. He's conducting and he's chanting sixteen rounds, coming up. And mm -hmm. Sami Prabhu is living in Finland, and he's also you know I have a wife. He is practicing Krishna consciousness. So mm -hmm. material life, boy, what is the difficulty? So now you are also you are, you don't have material life now. No oh, problem. You are yeah. balancing right. Ah. I need to balance problem. No, no need to balance now. Automatically, it will be well. No need to think too much. You chant Hare Krishna. You will okay, not bro. give up. You will not give up Maya for sure. Yes, we, will, we will give up. We will give up Krishna sometime. We will not give up Maya. Yes, <laughs> so we are we are yes. strongly bound to Maya. So we don't give up material life. So don't worry about. Just think how to balance spiritual life. That's okay, what you bro. have to see, you know. But in your life, what you automatically will do it. No need to worry about that. Okay, bro. But you know, Krishna there? Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, Indian Indian parent psychology, you know, right, Prabhu. Marks are important. Uh, if you get, if you if you if you work hard, you will get nice marks. Then only you will get nice income. Then only everyone will mm -hmm. respect you, etc. etc. Indian et students Indian mentally also, you know. Yeah. They don't want to study. <laughs> <laughs> and just some excuse, Prabhu. A thing like that. Why, yes, if you Prabhu. if you become Krishna conscious, you cannot study. Who say like that? I'm saying not we like that. We don't, we don't say you don't chant. Mm -hmm. Why you why you did not ask a question like uh, uh, you know, Prabhu? You are asking me to study, but how I can eat my food? Um, how I can sleep? Why you don't question like that? Because they are necessary, oh, right? Then chanting is not necessary. Yeah. It is necessary, bro. My parents will encourage because, to... You see, the point is that uh, you, the moment you chant Hare Krishna, you think of your marks. Yes, the bro. moment you want to go out with your friends, you don't think of your marks. moment you want to cook or eat, uh, you don't think of your marks. Only chanting and reading, hearing, oh, I marks. Oh, I need more. My parents, my parents. Oh, why, why like that? Not like that, Prabhu. I'm yeah. saying about their psychologist, Prabhu. I want. Like your I friends, mean, your friends are your friends are watching movies now. Yeah, Prabhu. Like they also go with the parents to movies, right? Yeah, Prabhu. So then, how do they study? 
Indian parents' mentality is there. Then now you can go movie. Don't know. Now they can spend too much of time in uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook and always flipping the screen like this. The saw, the saw. Our mind is cheating us. Mm. The mind is cheating us this way. The moment you chant, oh, what about your mark? Oh, how you will pass? How you balance material life? Did you think about your material life balancing when you are scrolling your Facebook or uh, YouTube shorts? When you are seeing YouTube shorts, and do you think about your scores or when you are playing some games in your phone? Do you think about that? No problem. Only each one day while chanting, you think about everything. Oh, chanting! Oh, how I can just score mark. How we can balance material life? This is Maya. This is how the Maya works. You should be very, very careful about this. Sure, Prabhu. Hmm? Prabhu. Okay, Prabhu. And Prabhu, by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, one minute. Huh? By chanting Hare Krishna mantra, you know you don't become a failure. Just go to eighteen seventy eight. I'll come to you, Karthi Prabhu. Huh? Just a minute. Just go to eighteen seventy-eight. Wait. Whenever there, wherever there is a Krishna, the masses of all majestics, and wherever there is Arjuna, the supreme archer, archerer. There will be also Christian opinions, victory, extraordinary power, and morality. This is my opinion. So wherever there is Krishna, wherever there is Arjuna, there will be poverty, there will be problem, there will be divorce, there will be chaos. Does the verse say like that? No, bro. Yes. He is saying you will get opulence, you will get victory, victory, you get power, you get morality, everything you get, na? Huh? Yes, bro. Yeah, you see, Chan Hari Krishna. Automatically, all the devatas, you know, the Lakshmi and Shiva, Brahma, everybody is becoming so much dear. You know, you become dear to them. Mm. Naturally, you become dear to them. Then mm. you get all the success. So you don't need to think that uh, oh, by chanting Hari Krishna, I'll become materially success. No, this Bhagavad Gita explains that by. By chanting, will become materially successful, not failure. Mm. Clear? Yes, bro. So this is Maya. Don't think like that. You know, don't, don't, uh, don't give too much work to your mind. Okay, bro. Whenever mind you say something, just tell your mind shut up. <laughs> okay, mind okay, always bro. asks uh, useless questions. Yes, bro. Tell your mind to shut up and chant. If you don't chant sixteen rounds, you know what is the use of all these questions and answers? You know, no so you tell your you tell your mind this way. You are not even chanting sixteen rounds, and why do you ask me so many questions? First of all, mm. you chant sixteen rounds, and then we will see. That's how you know you should uh, you should control your mind. Okay, bro. Hmm? You can also go sure. to you can also go to chapter four, verse number. Sorry, Canto Four, Chapter Twenty Four. Verse Number. Twenty twenty six. Actually, some devotees there, uh, some devotees, appreciate us. You know, they are trying to do some devotional service toward Vishnu. And then when they're on the way, they see Lord Shiva. 
and then the mm -hmm. way obeisance is lord shiva see what lord shiva says lord shiva, lord shiva become very pleased with the practices because generally lord shiva is a protector of pious person and the persons of a gentle being pious persons mm. pious persons pious person, person. so and persons of gentle behavior being very much pleased with prin princess B, he began to speak as follows next was lord shiva said you are all the sons of king prachin prachin barhi prachin barhi Pacherna Bari. And I wish all all I wish all good fortune to you. I also know what you are going to do. And therefore I am visible to you just to show you my mercy upon you. They are going to worship Lord Vishnu. So Lord hmm. Shiva is saying, I know what you're going to do. Oh, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm giving you all my mercy. Hmm. All my mercy upon you. Read hmm. the next verse. Lord Shiva continued. Any person who is surrendered to the Supreme Personality of the Godhead, Krishna, the controller of the everything, master, sorry, material nature as well as the living entities, is actually very dear to me. Clear? Yeah. Yes, bro. So if you become devotee of Krishna, Lord Shiva, who is called as Asudosha, who always fulfill your desires, he become very, very dear to the person. Mm. Next, read the next verse. Sure, bro. Read. A person who executes his occupational duty properly for the 100 births becomes qualified to occupy the post of Brahma. And if he becomes more qualified, he can approach Lord Shiva. A person who is directly surrendered to the Lord Krishna or Vishnu, his analog divisional services is immediately promoted to the spiritual planets. Lord Shiva and other demigods attend these planets after the destruction of this material world. Clear? Yeah. Yes, bro. Last, next verse. We are all devotees of Lord. I, and as much as such, I appreciated, I appreciate that you are also respected as the supreme personality of the Godhead Himself. I know in this way that the devotees also respect me and that I am very dear to them. Thus, no one can be as devoted dear to the devotees as I am. So Lord Shiva is confirming that nobody is dear to him more than the devotees of Vishnu. It means more than the Shiva devotees, Vishnu devotees are dear to him. Mm. Clear. More than Shiva yeah. devotees, Vishnu devotees are dear to him. So, mm. Lord Shiva is the controller of material energy. You want to control the, you want to balance the material world, then you chant Hare Krishna, Shiva become pleased. When Shiva is pleased, then Parvati is pleased. <laughs> you know? And she will okay. give you everything. Whatever you want, she will give you. Mm. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Yes. Thank you, Prabhu. So, thank you. Hare Krishna. Yes, Kati Prabhu, Hare. carry on. Jai Prabhupada. Oh, we have Manu Krishna Prabhu. Prabhu. Please, Jai sir. Nam, Manu Prabhu. Jai Prabhupada. All glory to you. As Manu Prabhu. Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. <laughs> yes, for Lord, thank <laughs> Yeah, I... you look very smart with the spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I look like it, but uh, I don't really act like it. <laughs> <laughs> it um, smart. It I, is I I had a very nice uh, book distribution with uh, uh, Bakta. His name is Bakta Mark. You may know him. Nimani Tabarbu and Bhakti Tabarbu have been preaching yeah. to him and everything. But he went up for me for books that uh, we were doing doors and all or uh preaching and today wow. and i i had my doubts and i was proven wrong we were giving out books like anything <laughs> we gave out five books <laughs> before it turned 
we went out at four and we came back uh, around seven. We gave around oh. five bucks. Yeah. yeah. So it was all right. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, even uh, even uh, we were doing some book distribution yesterday. Our temple devotees. Oh yes, sir. Really? Yeah. Huh? Tell yeah, me. Yeah. I want to hear some past times. I think uh, we sold about twenty books yesterday. Oh, wow. Big, small, twelve books. Morning to night. <laughs> Bhagavad no, Gita no. is about some five Bhagavad Gitas. They, they didn't, I didn't get the reports yet. I think five Bhagavad Gita and three Krishna books or something. And then they have some small, small books. Because this is some special Saturday. So Vishnu devotees, they they come to the temple in big numbers. Hmm. So yeah, last week, it was more than... Last week, uh, Pawan Prabhu alone did more. Uh, the last week also, it was good. Good, good. I feel happy to hear that you are supporting Vajakishwar Prabhu nicely there. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do my best and everything. Uh, mainly, I want to get my sleep schedule like on point because um, I'm seeing if my rounds are not done uh, in time. Uh, like before, I was doing my rounds like early morning um, and I would have so much time uh, to do like your know, reading and everything, but like I'm seeing that I'm trying to play catch up with my rounds and everything. That's the only thing. If I get that down pack with uh, some guidance, uh, I'll be yeah. Okay. When you when you stay in the temple, the challenge that we face is that we have some physical services more. You know, in your house and no much physical service, you can sit in the computer and turn Hare Krishna. You can hi <laughs> bye. But you know, you see like Bhagra Prabhu, you know, used to come every week, but you see Bajari, he cannot come now much because we have physical works, you know, more. You see now, you see where is Jikesh Prabhu, where is Shamko and Prabhu? They used to come regularly before now. Where are they now nowadays? Because once you join temple, you know, your your responsibility is increasing, you know, you become a responsible man. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, you have to balance. You are not initiated yet. If you are initiated a Brahmin initiation, if you got Brahmin Diksha, uh, then you need to go to altar, you know. Then that will take more time. Then if you go to altar mm -hmm. to dress the deities, then your chanting will get disturbed more. <laughs> you understand? I, that's why so I, want, I, want to, I want that uh, <laughs> uh, balance. Now you ask Vajay Kishore Prabhu, he will help you because he knows the timings and everything. Na? 4.30 Mangalarti, right? Um, Manchi Keshi Mataji is doing Mangalarti. She is the main priority. 4.30 or 5? Uh, we have 4.30 Mangalarti. Hmm. Then, Mangal then you have Sami. What service you do in the morning? Uh, main service is uh, clean the temple hall. Uh, per, um, prepare the RT plate and uh, and clean and change Prabhupada. So how long it takes? One hour? Uh, yeah, generally it would take one hour or 45 minutes, but Virgil Kipchoa Prabhu was saying that uh, after to improve the time. There is a time where they would do the temple hall, Prabhupada, RT play in even upstairs and then they would go out for vegetables and then come back before seven and I'm like <laughs> one hour and like I I have to do a lot better than that. <laughs> so if you start your chanting by five fifteen until six o'clock, yeah, you can finish only six, seven rounds in the morning, right? Hmm. Yeah, around there. Right? Six, seven rounds. And then mm -hmm. uh, right after that, uh, actually I'm what I'm doing is like uh, before I I came here I was just uh, uh, what is uh, there were some rounds that were behind so I need my need to advise like if you do four rounds a day extra on top of my sixteen then you know uh, I'll be able to catch up uh, so I've been doing that ever since I came here uh, since September. Uh, 16th, so the Manita Prabhu calculated 
uh, until November, if I keep on doing this, you know, I'll be caught up with all the rounds I was behind when I was in America. So with that instruction, I'm trying to do those extra four rounds every day and everything. Mm -hmm. Good. But Mr. Dobu, when he was in Singapore, when you were in Singapore, you know, he was having, personally, he was practicing one uh, principle. Like, uh, because we used to go to altar and then uh, cooking in the morning sometimes. We, we do services in the morning. So what he was having a principle is that uh, he don't take breakfast without finishing 16 rounds. So he was personally practicing in Singapore when he was a brahmachari that uh, we all have taking prashadam, he will not take prashadam. He will say, I'll finish my rounds. And then, you know, after Bhagavatam class, he'll finish all his rounds. Whatever the balance rounds, then he come and take prashadam. So in this way, you know, he was making sure that uh, his chanting is finished in the morning. Maybe you can uh, do that. Yeah, you can yes, do that. Bro. After Bhagavatam class, you can chant, and finish all your rounds. And then you go for prashadam. Because after Prashadam, we get tired. We just want to take a small nap. Right? Uh, <laughs> <It's about. laughs> yeah. Better you finish your rounds and take Prashadam, then you have some small nap. Then you go start your preaching activities. No problem. Yeah. Because Philippines temple is also a small temple, you know, very less devotees and service is more there. We have deities. Yes, yeah. sir. If, if, if you get Brahmin Diksha, then it will be more also. You need to go to all the press deities. Mm -hmm. So now what now who is dressing? Vajika is dressing now. Who is dressing? Who is dressing? Oh uh, yeah, so it's either Vajika Shorbu or um or I can't believe I forgot her name. Mantikeshi Mantiji or Radhika Mantri. Yeah. So correct. So you just uh, Maybe you can, if possible, you can do that. Before breakfast, you finish your rounds and then you take prasadam. Mm. Whatever, you, you have some mechanism, you know, to complete your rounds. That is the thing. Mm. Yes, uh, I want to be able to finish my rounds. So, like, uh, all the services I do, like, I noticed when I did finish my rounds before, when I first was here, early in the morning, I felt like I can do more services and everything. Uh, so, right. I, right. I want I want that back. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you are uh, good, good. Everything is okay. Yeah, everything's you, you, okay and everything. I, I do God, have I, like one. Uh, I want to reveal my mind uh, and everything. Like sometimes, um, I just think like the devotee goes through like so much, you know, distress and everything, but yet he uh, is so focused on Krishna and everything. I just have a fear that uh, it's an irrational fear that like maybe the devotee will put, be put into a very disgusting position. Like, oh, he, he has to assert, he has to, <laughs> I don't know what my mental speculation is, but uh, he, he would have to somehow or other uh, preach to people who are you know, living in a gutter or something like that. You know, he has to go in that sort of terrible, uh, wretched place. So, like, I'm just thinking, how can I rec reconcile with that uh, irrational fear? Because, you know, the Philippines, you know, the people are very warm over here. But uh, there are places where I, I just think, like, Man, how can you know like devotees have to be like very mentally strong and everything to like face you know to face that sort of you know disgusting position or disgusting uh, environment? I mean, Philippines is go with you know very nice people, but you know, how can how can we uh, reconcile with that? Or how can I reconcile? So if I if I understood if I understood you clearly that you are asking that uh, how to maintain the enthusiasm to preach despite of people are not very uh, very much interested to hear. Well, more like how... uh, like uh, if they 
how how to like remain steady in preaching even if the environment is dirty very very dirty like Prabhupada he, he, the places that he lived before were like crack houses before he lived in a proper place and so how do you maintain like that the point is that uh, we have a very we have one dirty habit uh, in the material consciousness always expecting some result that is material life material life you always expect some result uh, where after coming to krishna consciousness also we are expecting some result oh i want everyone to buy the books i want everyone to respect us nicely i want everyone to give money i want everyone to do this you know they should be i should have the whole temple packed and so many devotees must come you know like we we have uh, this dirty habit of expecting uh, good result and success but we have to understand that engaging in krishna consciousness itself is success so when you understand that you understand that uh, you know you stop expecting the results then then you always feel motivated because you get motivated by preaching you don't get motivated by seeing the result of preaching we initial uh, initial stage we get motivated by the sankirtan scores oh 100 books oh 10 books oh 15 books but when you get advanced you understand that preaching itself is a score you know some people touched the book some people saw the book some people hated the book some people blasphemed the book you know in every way they are they are thinking of bhagavad gita so that is that is our job because we are standing there we are standing there just as a postman you know like everybody is coming to you and uh, those who are fortunate they will take the book it's not that you are selling the book you are just holding the book and standing there and depends upon their previous karma anyone is who is destined to take the book he will take the book if he is not destined to take the book he will not take the book similarly you are calling everyone to come to the temple if he is uh, if he is pure enough to come to the temple he will come to the temple if he is not pure not qualified he will not come to the temple so in that mood if you preach then you will not uh, lose your enthusiasm to preach now even propaganda was preaching alone in vrindavan you know he is a pure devotee but you know even he was thinking maybe i did a mistake by taking sanyas nothing is moving you know and i am trying i am working so hard i am printing all this um, articles but nobody is buying from me nobody is buying so propaganda was always you know getting disturbed with all these things huh? next if i if you want to remind enthusiasts then you, you start enjoying the preaching process rather than enjoying the result of the preaching clear yeah. mm. you start seeing the result yes. you stop seeing the result of the preaching and enjoy the preaching process then you feel in rajendra shore prabhu is preaching. there alone yeah is the is alone there in your temple and then in how many years he is preaching alone you know how difficult it is to preach in a country like philippines day in and day out and then you know recently he got gaurnatha deities for janmashtami the deities came with a hand broken just just you know how much discouraging it is you know you are preaching like, and then you know yes bro yes bro that's a bad almost discouraging bro no. like both ears broken in the same position the same arm both ears yeah and how much discouraging it is you tell me uh, you know you are preaching and then you are uh, you know trying to expand and everything the deity itself is broken means you know like if you have some problem you can go to krishna but krishna himself you know giving us trouble then what we can do <laughs> krishna always krishna always test us you know <laughs> Gaurnatha is so merciful, and the Gaurnatha themselves, you know, they are broken. You know, they are coming like this and giving us some, you know, like discouragement. So you have to understand that uh, these are the yes, these are the yeah. things to to shape you. You know, Krishna gives all the struggles in life to shape you, mold you, 
so that you can become a much more uh, better person uh, to preach. You know, you can become a much more better preacher. Mm. So you understand that every day you are staying in the temple is success. Attending Mangalarti is success. Dressing ladies is success. And uh, you know, Bhagavatam class is success. Taking prasadam is success. Preaching is success. But not the result is success. Not the result. Today, Vajikishore mm -hmm. is trying to do something in Philippines. He is he's struggling for 10 years alone. But he will get result after some time. Then after that, somebody else will become the devil president after many years. Then he will enjoy the result. Because all the struggles are by Rajakishwaru, what is all the struggles now? Like after 20, 30, 40 years, then somebody will take over. That person will have a nice temple, nice car, everything will be there. And so easy life for him. You see Bhakti mm -hmm. Thakur, you know, uh, uh, for example, Jagannath Asaja, Zawabaji mm -hmm. Maharaj, mm -hmm. Aspire, Aspire. Mm -hmm. Bhakti Thakur, he, he wanted to establish Varnashram Dharma. Then Gaurakishwara Swabaji Maharaj, he chose one disciple. And Bhakti Siddhanta he established Varnashram Dharma, but he wanted to go to outside country, but that he could not go. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada went to outside country. He wanted to put a proper rhythmic system that he could not do. That is done by you know Sundar Gopal Prabhu. Now you know we are trying to establish proper. So likewise, uh, the preaching is actually going on. Uh, it is not about you are living or you are dying. We are simply instruments. You know, that verse is there now in Bhagavad Gita. Nimitra Matram Bhavarjuna. 414. No, not 414. 1133. You can go to 1133 of Bhagavad Gita. Tasmat Tvam Uttishta. That was. Read that. So, translation. Therefore, get up, prepare to fight, and win glory. Conquer your enemies and enjoy a flourishing kingdom. They are already put to death by my arrangement. And you, O Swayachi, uh, um, can be um, but an instrument in the fight. Wow. They're just instrument in the fight. You are not a doer. The moment you think you are a doer, then it is Bhagavad Gita chapter 3, verse number 27. Bhagavad Gita, Prakritim Kriyamanani, Gunai Karmani, Sarvasahankara, Yamudatma, Kartaham, Vidhi Mandiyande. Translation This very soul, bewildered by the influence of false ego, thinks himself the doer of activities that are in, that are in actuality carried out by the three modes of material. Wow. So this is a dirty, this is a dirty habit. And after coming Krishna consciousness, we are trying to get some result. Oh, I preached and then I sold on Bhagavad Gita. Oh, I did this, you know, I cook, it came very well, and everybody appreciated it. Oh, I'm a good dresser, you know, I am actually a good kirtan player. You know, we have a dirty habit of this, you know. Clear? So, this yes. is why when you understand that you are simply an instrument in the hands of Krishna, then you, know, you feel uh, obliged, you feel duty bound to Krishna. Rather than uh, getting satisfied or dissatisfied, your duty, your duty bound. For example, you know, like uh, when the when the magistrate or judge uh, we order someone, you know, you punish someone by hanging them, you punish someone by putting them in ten years in jail and and uh, release somebody, or you know, like uh, give some reward to somebody, like uh, you know, you get you know you get some ten crore. You get the property, now you win the property, you have the property, you lose the property. So likewise, the, what the judge is doing, the judge is neither lamenting nor he is, uh, you know, like uh, happy about it. He is just in an instrument, the hand of the government. So when you understand that, uh, then you don't really feel happiness when you do some big stuff or you feel lamenting when you are doing some small stuff. When you see failure, you don't get disturbed. When you see success, you know, then you don't get so much of happiness. Uh, mana, that's what is, that is there, no? Bhagavad Gita, chapter 7, verse number 29. 
translation. Intelligent person. Huh? No, we done dualities. This or before? Twenty-eight. One. Huh? Twenty-eight. Yeah. 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 This one. Read that. Mm -hmm. Translation. Persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life whose simple actions are completely huh. eradicated are free from the dualities of delusion and they engage themselves in my service with determination. So if you want to do devotions away with determination, that is what you're asking. Then you should go above the dualities. It's called dualities of delusion. So now I joined the temple, I should become a better preacher now. I joined the temple, I should know, I should learn how to quote more slokas. Oh, I should I have joined the temple now, or now I should I should become that, I should become that. No, nothing. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. You join the temple means you are more responsible now. That's it. Nothing more than that. If you're a senior means doesn't mean you get two horns in the head, you know. You're becoming just more responsible. That's it. You are getting more responsible. Yes. The more and more you, the more and more higher you go, you must understand that uh, more and more you are becoming servant, right? Right. The more and if you are, a, if you are, a, if you are, a, if you are a new bhakta, uh, if you are a new bhakta, you are a small servant. If you are a temple president, you are a big servant. If you are a second class devotee, you are much more bigger servant. First class devotee, then you are servant of the whole humanity. Prabhupada considered himself as a servant of your whole humanity. That is why he was sleeping only two hours a day and writing all the literatures for the whole humanity. The devotees, the more and more you high go high, you understand that you know, that that is that is advancement. Advancement means you start seeing yourself, your real identity. What is your real position? What is the real position? So, uh, what is the real uh, identity? Uh, it's to be in your constitutional position. Uh, it's uh, the swabhav. What is your swabhav? Uh, the eternal servant of Krishna. So when you understand your servant, that is your constitutional position. So if you are a servant of Krishna, you are a servant of every living entity also. So the more and more you go higher and higher and higher, if you are material conscious, then you tend to get some material result. I should be respected. I should have this. I should have that. But spiritually you go and then you tend to tolerate and forgiving and then for the pleasure of Prabhupada, for the pleasure of Krishna, and then tolerate the new bhaktas, tolerate them, you know, accommodate them, accommodate everybody, embrace everybody and move forward. Clear? So in this case, even if some big problem happened to you in life, you, know, you are not disturbed. You are not disturbed. Otherwise, you know, we are we are at dualities. Just now the verse he showed, right? Dvandva Mohena Bharata. The dualities of delusion. Then, you know, then you cannot do uh, devotional service with determination. If you want to do devotion, determine, determine, then you understand that you are simply an instrument in the hand of Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada is preaching in Philippines, not you are preaching in Philippines. Prabhupada is preaching and your hands and legs are used by Prabhupada. You are you are you have given your hands and legs for Prabhupada. So wherever That's Prabhupada true. want to go, he will use your body and travel. So when you understand that, you feel more satisfied, more happier, more merrier. And you don't get discouraged by seeing failures. Failures will make you strong. You know that's why when you join the temple, then your realization is in a different angle. You know, your realization and your part time is different, and your full time is different. And now you guys are happy by hearing, you know, me talking. After coming temple, I will never talk. You will never hear. Also, we don't. That's why the temple devotees don't get opportunity to hear me like this. Mostly I shout, they hear. That's it. <laughs> you know? I just touch them and they hear it. And not like, uh, not like, uh, I mean, like nice words, kind words, nothing like that. Because when you join temple, everybody have a responsibility and move forward. When you take responsibility and you don't perform, then you get punishment for that. 
then we just try sin a devotee just says you what prabhu you don't know this also you don't know how to cook you don't know how to do you don't know how to sweep you know you don't know how to mop what is this what the nonsense you're doing you don't know how to iron rope address what is this so then you get chastisement and then you are becoming smaller and smaller and smaller hmm? i'm sure you are with the best mentor of iskm one of the best yeah. mentors of iskm <laughs> yes very strict very strict president <laughs> you know yeah, his association ah huh? I saw his uh, picture. He showed me pictures of uh, the times where he was wearing saffron. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very, very sincere, very nice devotee, Rajesh Kishor Prabhu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So by uh, by his association, definitely, you know, you can learn a lot of things. He's very straight, but his chastisements will help you a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes, I I need that. Uh, actually, he was telling me. that when he was in uh, singapore he used to be soft but like he soon to go will send him for books for 8 hours and he will yes. come back and ask soon to go for soon to go for i can't do this and he's like okay go i don't need to <laughs> and then he was like oh wow <laughs> and he he just told me that like that sort of chastisement just made him tough yeah <laughs> He used to get the most chastisement in our temple, I S K M Kingapur. Oh. Ajay Kishore Prabhu only always get more scolding from Prabhu. He will stand eight hours and then he will come back, and then Sundar Ko Paltro will ask him how much you did today, and then he will say some fifty dollars or hundred dollars. We are standing eight hours and coming back now. Prabhu will say only hundred dollars. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? You are sleeping, is it? You are sleeping. Huh? You are spacing out. Huh? What is this nonsense, sir? Huh? You don't know how to distribute books, sir. Huh? What are you doing? I will shout like that. <laughs> Once he suggested to Sundar Gopal Prabhu, Prabhu, what about having shift? One devotee go for four hours in the morning, another devotee go after that four hours. You know, Sundar. He suggested to Sundar Gopal Prabhu, why? You know, you don't want to go. Okay, lah. You pack your bag and go to your mother. No, you go to your home. Why you want to be here? If you don't want to preach, ah, just take your bag and go home. No, <laughs> so that is that is what made him very strong. You know, he is he got the most chastisement from the Gopal. <laughs> That's why now he is giving. Now you take it. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> this is Sami Prabhu shared a verse. You can see that for twenty six twenty two. You can read yes. that verse. Okay, my dear uh, slender maiden, when a master chastises his servant, the servant should accept uh, this as great mercy. One who becomes angry must be very foolish not to know, uh, not to know that such is the duty of his friend. So when someone chastises you, that means that is love. Wow. When someone is glorifying you, he is actually cheating you. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't go call a roadside guy and scold him, na. <laughs> you don't go to the road. No. Okay, come, come. You are a fool. You are a rascal. You know. You don't say like that, na. Mm-mm. But I, I chastise my son or daughter, or my wife mm-hmm. or my brother, sister, or my dear most friend, right? Or my followers, right? Yes. So unless unless someone like you, why they just as you? Mm. They must understand that. So if one become angry, then your your uh, in charge is shouting at you, and then you shout back to him. Then you should be a fool, no? Next time you will not just as you. Mm. There are some devotees are there. Oh, I should better stay far from this devotee, you know. If you go near, ah, huh, you will just as me, you know. I should stay far. So that he will not chastise me anymore. Yeah, no problem. I also do that. And some devotees behave to me like that. So I just better stay far from Prabhu because you know he will scold me. You know better. I mean, the distance. I, I also behave like that. I don't chastise them much, but but they are at loss. You know, they are at loss. They are at loss by staying far from me, by not getting chastised, and they are not making any progress. 
even after many years only they stay the same level unless you get chest size out to make progress and also yeah so you understand that you understand that devotees are the real friends and temple is our family Simply, yes. our family. You understand that? So, yeah, we fight sometimes. The father and son some sometimes fight. There will be misunderstanding in the temple also. I don't like you. You don't like me. I shout at you. Shout at me. This will happen in temple. Happen in the family also. Right. But we forget and move on. Na next day. Mm. Next day we move on. Right. Mm. That should yes, be. That's... If I see the devotees as my family members, even if you have some mis misunderstanding, then you sort out and move further. You don't sort out means you don't see them as your family members. So clear, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Like uh, it's very clear. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to taking chastisement, that means that you are close to that devotee. Is it because of the humility, or is it because you're doing the six exchanges with the devotee, it's like giving prasad, taking prasad? Uh, revealing one's mind, or is it the humility? Uh, that, I don't know. I don't understand. No, like uh, you. Like uh, I'm saying, uh, to even be able to receive chastisement, is it because mm -hmm. of the result of being humble, or is it the result of doing the six exchanges with the devotees, like you know, uh, giving prasadam, taking prasadam? Um, no, the mind. chastisement, the chastisement is the uh, one of the duty of a siksha guru. It is a process of making a devotee. Mm. It is not about. Uh, it is very simple, as simple as it is. Just like the why does the teacher punish the students? Why does the father beat the children? These two. Take them to next level. You no, know? give them new realizations. Take them to next level. That's it. So it is not uh, as simple as it is. So actually, it is one of the Vaishnava etiquette. You know? Vaishnava etiquette is that one should not chastise anybody who is neither your disciple nor your son. So you should chastise only those people who are your son or disciple. Yeah. So if someone is following you, suppose some junior devotees are coming to you, Manu Prabhu, you know, can you please help me? You know, can you please? Then you have to. Sometimes you have to guide them. Guide them. You know, the guiding means uh, it is glorifying sometimes, is praising sometimes, and chastising sometimes, and scold scolding sometimes. Is all together it is called as mentoring, right? Mentoring is not about you know putting butter. You know, oh, go gray. You're pure. Very exalted. You are no. Then in that case you'll you'll become more puffed up. So everything is mentoring. So if someone is following you, then he is considering to be a siksha disciple. Then you can guide them. It is very simple because no, we are representing our diksha guru. Suppose if Prabhupada is there and he do the mistake, what Prabhupada will do? Suppose you are ending Prabhupada. Suppose you are doing some deity seva. And then you know you don't do something properly. If Rupad is there, what he will do? The same thing to be done by the temple president. He has to represent Rupad. Not that for personally he get angry. Oh, you 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 know you are actually you know so big now. You know like you know who am I? I'm no, that kind of anger is not good. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Clear. Mm -hmm. Very clear. Yes, bro. Yes. Hare Krishna. Had a long time. Long time we spoke. Huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so we have a card, yeah, right. Prabhu. We was asking something. You are there. Uh, sorry to make him wait for a long time. You were. You wanted to ask something. Maybe you will call me later if he's not there. Yes. Open oh, there. It's okay. Oh, you are there, huh? You want to ask something? Oh, no, that's okay. You want to ask something? Ask now, or you call later. No problem. Yeah, you can type. Sorry to make you wait for a long time.
So is it clear, Manu Prabhu? No? Everything is uh, crystal clear. Um, when it comes to uh, uh, preaching, uh, that in itself is an achievement. Uh, I should not seek the result, but I should uh, try to uh, be an instrument to be to have. Mm. And the, chast the chastisement, it's only a, a show of affection um, from the sixer, the spiritual master. And, as a, and uh, that is a way for me to advance. Without that chastisement, I'll just... I'll just stay the same level. Yeah. Yes. So you want some chastisement? Yes, Karthi I Prabhu want, want some chastisement. Karthi, Karthi Prabhu typed, uh, I cannot, uh, can I? Prabhu, since I did not get any chastisement, I'm most fortunate. Next time, can you call me? <laughs> no, you are doing good, then why I should? If it is something, then I will. You are doing good, no problem. I mean, you come personally, then you know, maybe <laughs> maybe you can ask uh, Shamgo in Prabhu about that. He will tell you. If he gets to both, he can ask. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can ask them. No problem. You come here. Hmm? You can see. Anything else? Otherwise, you can stop. Uh, how is the Sindhu Prabhu over there? He's very far, no? He's uh, 2,000 oh. kilometers away from me now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he left Pondicherry more than a month before. Mm. So he went to Bombay, he went to Delhi, he went to... Yesterday he was in Vrindavan. Yesterday night they oh. went back to Delhi. Yeah, he was in Vrindavan for four days. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going Vrindavan? Me? Uh, yeah. When Raja Kishore Prabhu goes to Vrindavan. I want to meet all the devotees with Raja Kishore Prabhu. What about your visa in Philippines? How many years? Uh, actually, Raja Kishore Prabhu said if you want a five year visa, you have to get married. So I was like, no, I'm not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, um, otherwise, how is your visa? So six months. Some no. connection. Please try again in a moment. Why the Siri is talking? Why is why he's talking? The Siri, Siri is talking. Maybe the Siri has some doubt. Uh, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is that? What are you saying? Uh, I'm doing like a six month uh, renewal of my visa. Every six months, I renew it. Mm. So uh, that if way, get, if you know, get engaged, you can get engaged in the Philippines. Yes. <laughs> if you get engaged, then you can be engaged. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you just after six months you can go to Singapore and then you go back to Philippines, right? Possible, now. Oh really? I can go to the Philippines. I mean Singapore, and uh... I don't know. I don't know. You ask Vajikishwar how long you can go like that. I don't know. Okay. You know. You cannot get some employment visa, something like that, or some study visa. How, how long you can I, stay I, with your present status? I mean, right now I can stay six months, but Virgin Kishopra will said that there are people who stay 10 years with the expired visa, but I don't want to get caught with the expired visa 10 years later. So I, I, want, to, is, you know. I want to figure out how I can stay, like, you know, forever. Uh, you can try. You can try something. Oh. But don't get married. Huh? That's a very bad idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ring of death. <laughs> or, or, or you try about some paper marriage. What's that? Paper, paper marriage. Uh, paper. <laughs> Only for uh, paper. Maybe. Uh, under the table. Uh, yeah, something you can try like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it would be like catfish. <laughs> <laughs> something for the... Uh... It would be like a cardboard card out. You know, it's just like, yes, this is, uh, she's real. <laughs> yeah, 
you have another 6 months you work on that then you will uh, then you can find out something some way and mm-hmm. it's something okay. like that thank you okay that's all right so there is nothing much we can stop here